see if that fixes any. Let me just go grab it so I can go post it on the thing in the it. Wait, that wasn't it. There, 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 there. That was, that was, um, remove that message and post that one. There we go. Yep. Uh, looks clean now. Yeah, it's fine now. Hey, Mohammed. KF, uh, KFG. Let me go grab the tags real quick. Another Weird that it was throwing a hissy fit. Yeah, I don't know why I was so throwing such a fit for some reason. That was so weird. So, I was actually thinking about doing Twitch. Because I'm getting tired of YouTube streaming service. For some reason, it has so many issues for no reason. Tabby is good, but if gifted, it's really good. Tabby's worse than I thought it was. You know why? Who here has a uh, a thousand Tabby love Tabby? If you have one, just comment in the the chat right now if you have a thousand if this number is 999 you don't have a thousand i mean you have a thousand like that's at a thousand oh you do so you know how tabby loves still procs <coughs> you know how tabby loves still procs Because after you hit a thousand, you get more tabby love that does nothing. Tabby's infinitely locked in at being 50% potential because it can still spawn tabby love, which takes an ability token proc. So no matter how long you play with it, it's always going to be dwarfed by the fact that it continues to spawn tabby love. Tabby's garbage. At 1,000, it shouldn't be spawning more Tabby loves, but it does. Therefore, it's a wasted ability token proc. Because your bees, they can only proc a certain amount of ability tokens based on actions, right? It has a cycle. So every time that it goes back to using Tabby's love, it's not using the claw. It's literally eating away ability tokens that is so inefficient i don't care what this number is that's trash anyone that knows math and gaming would not say tabby's that great uh, there's <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. Tabby's usefulness becomes RNG dependent. And then everyone that loves Tabby's like, uh, uh. Sakun, you, you have 1000, right? Did you not know that Tabby's love eats away at procs, claw procs? I wouldn't give Tabby. I already did. I didn't know it was that bad. Tabby's garbage. 100% give Photon over Tabby. I haven't invited anyone yet.
Tabby's garbage. Look, you see this? Literally does nothing. Instead of spawning a claw, 50% of the time it's spawning Tabby's love, which literally does nothing. That is so bad. You guys have no idea how bad that is. People see like, oh, a thousand percent. That's insane. It's a 10 times modifier. Really? That's crazy to you? Dude, that's terrible. Oh, gummy strip. Uh, do you want to give? Give, 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 give. It's so bad. Tabby is just terrible. See, I knew Tabby was bad, but I thought like after you hit a thousand ability tokens, it'll stop spawning that other one. But no, it keeps going. It seems like it the real the real reason why people love tabby is obviously because cat not because of actual usefulness like i i think at that point people need to stop recommending tabby because anyone that has tabby at a thousand they would see like oh it's not that good like it's really not that good I'm sick of people swearing up and down that it's really good. I'm I'm not even going to say it's good. I think Tabby is bad. So the moment I find anything better, I'm replacing Tabby. The moment. Like anything. Like I wouldn't even consider Tabby mythic tier. The fact that it still spawns Tabby's love makes it garbage. Like, that is so terrible. I just got a mythic egg from the winter memory match. For some in your life, you're lucky. Yeah. Mythic eggs are pretty useful. For early game, you end up using them. Late game, you end up uh, donating them. Oh, look. Tabby didn't do anything. I'm going to point it out over and over again. For all these cat lovers that sit there and go, Oh, Tabby's the greatest gift from Monet. It's not. Dude, it's so bad. It's a goddamn meme, dude, and I fell for the damn meme. I can't believe I fell for the damn meme. What's better, Tide Popper or Petal? Depends on your build. My chat and left. Oh, you know, yeah. Thank you for calling that out. Give me like two seconds and I'll fix that. All I have to do is reload the overlay. Tabby still really good gifted. No, it's not. No, it's not. Tabby is not really good. It is not really good. You're living in a fantasy world where cats are the greatest, but they're not. I'm telling you, they're not. Tabby's love still procs, so Tabby will only work at 50% at best. When Tabby love appears, you literally get an ability that doesn't do anything. If anything, it hinders you because your cub pet won't gather uh, a link because it's too busy grabbing these damn Tabby loves. Tabby sucks. Yeah, oh, oh okay, okay. The gifted hive bonus is really good, though. I'll, I'll admit that, yes. The... the 50% critical power from the gifted hive. Yeah, that's good. That's good. But everything else about it sucks, dude. The ability token, like, if it didn't spawn Tabby's love after you hit 1000, 
I would say it's a pretty good pet. But because it continues to spawn that, dude, no. No, it's not that good. Because ability tokens have cooldowns and it has a rotation. So every time that you're beat, because this is how the code goes. It calls towards the bee and goes, hey, do you want to perform an action? If the bee says yes, it'll go through its ability list and pick one at random, right? Yeah, tar Tabby is garbage. Um, So if it hits the ability love token, it spawns ability love token, not claw. So literally after you're maxed out on Tabby's love, it'll just keep spawning the claw. It doesn't matter. It, like, it, 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 you can't... It's... Uh, if a B becomes inconsistent because of a certain mechanic, like if you look... Okay, for example, here's a perfect example. So, Fuzzy, this is just one not... This is just one off the top of my head. Fuzzy has uh pollen haze right which if it rolled pollen haze but it the field could only be pollinated like one out like every three minutes no i don't care what level it is um since it could only be pollinated once every three minutes if you get the token again it would be a waste but what happens it spawns fuzz bombs instead so it's never a waste Meanwhile, with Tabby, you spent 20 billion on treats and got like three beasts to level 13. Yeah. B leveling is pretty harsh. Um, and obviously I'm saving for a gummy mask. The fact that it can still roll Tabby's love means it's never going to be that, like, it's never going to be at max potential. I wouldn't say it's really good. It, it's it's hard capped at its own abilities. I guess you can say it's very accurate to. Whoa! I spawned a vicious bee. Mountain top. I'm gonna step off. Okay. Come here. Yeah, I'll Come step in. off. People can get we up. We can here. do cannon now. I just need my Spent 12T and only got two beasts to level 19. Um, I think Mittens was saying that it was uh almost 800 uh trill to get every B from 19 to 20. Which, mind you, it, it was like 760 trill. No, no, Onet shouldn't, because that's, that's, dude, no, that's a thousand times modifier. No. If anything, he should make Tabby's love spawn a claw. Right. If you want to see Tabby perform, like, consistently and be, like, really good, like, to me, I, I thought the moment that it hit max Tabby's love... It would no longer give me the fucking Tabby's love. Like, that was my reference point. The moment that I saw that it kept spawn... Yeah, no. Not not 100,000. Correct. Dom is 100% accurate with that statement. That's That's the whole point I'm making. Because it still uses Tabby Love, it's a problem. Right? If Tabby's Love were to, say, cause a claw instead of, like, doing literally nothing, then I would have an argument for that. Hell! If Tabby's Love has a chance to cause a claw, so it's an RNG within an RNG within an RNG, right? For you little cat lovers out there, how you love the RNG on RNG on RNG aspects of cats. Like, 
even that I would say would make Tabby like a lot lot better in my opinion but on the grand scale of things I don't like Tabby it's it's terrible I maxed it out right under the peer pressure of the chat I ended up buying a Tabby I max it out and before anyone says anything right look it's even gifted so I have the crazy the crazy cat right I don't like it I don't like it I didn't see that much of an increase from a tabby photon does a lot more work than tabby yeah because it gets red boost Yeah, that I feel like that is the more accurate statement. If it wasn't for the fact that it gives 50% crit power, yeah, I don't think anyone would use it. Uh, Santiago, do you have proof of that? Cause I'm on the discord. He never said anything about that. Don't support him unless you have proof. Uh, I, we'll, we'll raffle out two slots here in a second. He said that on discord a while ago. I'm on the discord. And I didn't see that at all. Here, let me see if I can find this message. Okay. Copy that discord from user 0901. Then type in tabby. Yeah, no, he never said that. He literally never said that. Santiago Perez. He never said that. You want to know how I know? Because I look. You can do user from onet0001 and then add in the term tabby and it'll literally pull up every single mention of him talking about tabby. No, he didn't. Don't lie about that. I literally just looked. I went all the way back to March of last year. I literally went to fact check for you. Yeah, exactly. He's not touching Tabby. Uh, it's on mountaintop, by the way, baby. Oh, that was my accident. Oh, okay. I'm coming. I didn't mean to plant that. Let me take that bad boy off. Uh, no invites going out right now. I'll do a giveaway in a bit for two slots. Okay, go. 
Going back to Rose. Yeah, I'm just chilling on mountaintop. I need to finish the one bill. Yeah, my root booster went to Rose, so that's why I'm chilling here. Yeah, Rose is good though. Yeah. But he no, he he never said anything about Tabby in that regards. M1, I I literally just said that I would raffle off tickets later for slots. Yeah. And 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 don't spam please. Okay. You are getting timed out. Like we we see your message. You don't have to to spam just because you didn't hear the the reply. Get a five minute timer. Okay. Honeybees hunt. It, that, that, okay. It jumped massively before and then it now it's doing little micro jumps what the fuck i would also like to point out for everyone that's in the stream this stream is rated for tvma meaning if you are very young you may need your parents consent before watching this and if you're spamming my chat you might be one of those people that hates parents consent so please uh the i had a user come into one of my games uh off stream it was like this was a regular user and started saying some very inappropriate stuff so now it's been two days. I didn't watch you and you're OP. What do you mean I'm OP? I like I, I, I told you guys this from like the beginning too. I'm not an average gamer. <laughs> I was a professional gamer. <laughs> Doing math and stuff makes me really good. I break the like pedal one and you gain so much honey. Uh, I haven't been gaining that much honey lately. I'm just like, I'm goofing off doing a mob rotation because I want snowflakes. Um, like I, I can generate up to like about eight mil, about eight mil per second. With a little help of Ghost, uh, Ghost Sticka, me and Ghost Sticka were farming last night, and I was making roughly between six to ten millisecond. But honestly, sad that Music B is almost as useful as Tabby, which is an event B. See, that's literally Dom. That's my point, though, right? Like, that's literally my point. That's like, dude, <laughs> that's like exactly what I'm talking about. Like Tabby's not a, like when you get an event B like, okay, here's the crazy part. You guys like so many people vouch for Tabby, right? And I'm like, no, I think photons better. Everyone's like, no, dude, Tabby's way better. So I grabbed Tabby to humor the chat, right? It's just 500 tickets. Who cares? And then I max it out. And then I give it a star treat. And you know what I think? Tabby's still garbage. Right? 
like yes the gifted hive bonus is good 50 percent crit power is ridiculous but like the ability itself isn't that great it's not as good as you guys think it is and the conversion rate isn't that great either tabby's love isn't that great either because after compensating for tab like tabby's love like the actual ability proc and the duration that it takes to get it up there it's still only at a five times multiplier, which you can easily compensate by doing other active things. Meanwhile, Photon is an instant conversion, which automatically has an increase based on the modifiers you already have. It's crazy. Tabby isn't that good. What do I gif? I don't want to. I agree. Here's, here's the thing, Dom. Photon is equivalent to uh, a mythic bee. Photon actually is equivalent to a mythic bee. Photon's ridiculous. He's just pure raw generation. He's huge, right? Now, if you consider in the grand scheme of things, Crimson and Cobalt is okay, right? I wouldn't. They're they're more like like epics. You know what I mean? They're not legendaries. But they're priced at like an epics range meanwhile if you look at photon and tabby they're what do i gift i don't want to give photon either because i want to full your bag faster filling your bag faster is bad just so you are aware i don't like this number i like this number because if I farm for five minutes and then I have to go, then it's, it's terrible. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. See, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind Tabby staying the way it was, but it's not a 500 ticket B in my opinion. Because my very first B that I bought was Photon, right? Because I f bought Photon, my frame of reference was like, damn. These 500 ticket Bs are cracked. And then everyone's like, dude, you, you got to get Tabby. Tabby's like the best one ever. Tabby's like amazing. Tabby is so this Tabby. Sa I grabbed Tabby and you know what I think? It's fucking garbage. <laughs> it's not that good. It's really not that good. Like, God damn. I would have been happier with giving my star treat to Fuzzy over Tabby. To be honest. Like, to be 10 as honest. I was like, bro, this B still sucks. I expected a negligible jump, but it's not, it's not like that. <laughs> like, look, I shoot up to like over 400 K. And then when I'm just not doing, when I'm not having those crazy generations, I sit at 200k. He literally doubles my honey intake. Like, Jesus Christ, my guys. For like a couple seconds. For a couple seconds, he brings it up to like 200k. Oh, he brings it up to like 400k, but yeah. Like, the pollen. Because here's the thing, at the end of the day, guys, like, the faster you fill up the bag, the more you're doing walking back and forth. The goal is yeah. to not have to walk back and forth. I think the only reason people say Tabby's good, even though it's bad, is because they got a lot of pollen every, like, one to two. Yes, exactly. So here's the thing. I think... What happened is, is a YouTuber or something of the like, or some like BSS, like community and game player or whatever, took like a screenshot of like a fully stacked tabby and was like, guys, tabby's the greatest ever when he got that one in a million claw, right? Where he has a build centered around Tabby. And then he gets the one in the million claw. And then it looks good. 
But here's the thing. Building your build around Tavi is terrible. Like, if you're a red hive, you can go crit and damn it, or crit and all that stuff, but for a white hive, no. Hey, Spix. Or Speaks? I guess that would be Speaks. Mm, I would have guessed Speaks, too. To be honest. Yeah, double I is kind of weird. But yeah, it's just like, it's just baffling to me why people, oh, Wendy at Mountain Top, Mountain Top, Mountain Top. Okay, coming. Yeah, I need these. I need these. 400 Tabby tokens or Tabby tokens. God damn it. Too much talking about Tabby. Um, 400, uh, Wendy tokens. I wouldn't say a quarter. I think half was good. Right. If he dropped it down to 250, I'd say that's fair. Right. Because in order to get the real benefit of Tabby, you have to star treat it anyways for the, the gifted hive bonus, which is already really expensive. So why is, why is it double the price? Just because it has a good. Oh, he's going over to pepper. That's fine. I'll send it back quick. <laughs> Honeybee quest is lag. Um, are you using honey mask or are you talking about the end game stuff? Like the honeysuckle crap. If you're talking about like, uh, here it is. If you're talking about honeysuckle and enzymes, what you can do is you stack buoyance or have someone help you with stacking point. And then you increase your capacity like crazy. And then in one hour when it goes to drop off, you uh, essentially just, uh, now he's going coconut, which means I have coconut crab to deal with too. Yeah, coconut crab, I don't really care for you. I'm just gonna ignore you. Guys, guys, stop touching the coconut crab. Oh my God, Tabby. You coward. I see you hiding behind the coconut crab. Yo. Please oh. kill the damn crab or the damn bee. Oh my god, this crab is ridiculous. He's bodying me, man. He's bodying me. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm getting bodied by coconut crab, but it's all right. How are you doing? He's almost down, guys. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I have faith. After okay, that, now, probably go back to now I need Link. I need Link. Hook it up with a Link. Easy. And then we're going to wing because he's going to Clover, which brings all our bees closer. So we actually get there before Windy does. Ah, yeah. Like a boss. Finally, I can beat up Windy. I can be a part. Yeah, uh, well, I've had Petal. I've had Petal for like... A bit. Uh, last stream, we got fuzzy as well, which was a big upgrade. I don't think pedal like pedals good. Pedals really good for AFK. I forgot who it was that told me about that, but they were like, yeah, pedals just really good for AFK. They told me right off the bat. And now I believe. If ever changes crit power or makes high bonus worse for Tabby, it's never going to be used again. Okay, so <clears throat> this is like a really difficult concept for a lot of people. 
But meta changes. Yeah, dude, it's all good. Uh, meta changes are shifted based on certain modifiers. And for example, I, I guess this is the easiest way to put it. In League of Legends, if your favorite champion's like number one weapon gets nerfed, your champion got nerfed, right? If the strongest weapon for your your champion gets nerfed, then your champion got nerfed. Even though it's not directly towards your champion, right? So yes, changing crit, uh, the crit power would nerf Tabby, or the way that it interacts with certain things. But I think what is more crazy is if there's another element added to the game that's just better than crit power in general, it will also nerf Tabby like crazy. I think Tabby's just going to get nerfed in time. That's not true. That is not true at all. Do not spread false falsities here. Like, it's not true. Tabby's not that great. Photon's actually way better than Tabby on a whole different scale. I feel like people that say that don't have Tabby 1000 yet. Because if you had Tabby 1000 and you realize that half the time it's spawning Tabby's love and it's not even using the claw ability, it looks a little bit different. You have final exams in two weeks? Well, I wish you well on your exams. Well, we can go jelly or ticket. I'll just grab the single ticket. Who cares? Not really. Tabby's not that good. I'll stand by that until the end of time. Tabby's not as good as people think it is. Look at my screen. Oh, TVMA is blocking it. Here. <clears throat> Do me a favor. What is this? I have Tabby's Love 1000. You said it gets better. It doesn't. And then... It's even gifted. It's not that good, dude. Uh, guess we can do a giveaway for two slots. <sighs> Let me go to Nightbot. But yeah, Tabby's not that good. Giveaway key term. Let like copy. Do this to join in the giveaway if you want to grab uh get in. <laughs> See? Bro, any in-game player that's actually messed around with it goes, uh, it's good, but it's not that good. Do uh actually smart join to join into the giveaway, and then I'll pull you in. Uh, whoever gets called. If there's only two entries, I'll just pull in the two people. Give it another like minute or yeah, let's give it exactly one minute. I wish, um, I wish the giveaway thing actually had a timer on it for me. Yeah. I should probably mute this tab before I kill everyone's ears. <laughs> mm. 
It absolutely destroy people. I think of the okay, so I have um I just by the way, there's a chance for this to give you gingerbread. It's really small, but double shot up. Um after Wendy it's gonna be gummy bee for me. Those guys are really good. Like I think gummy and and uh Wendy offer more overall especially windy because windy provides a uh which i'm gonna call it uh white white boost which it's the only one in the game so it's just a roll between the three Last call to join. Do exclamation point join for a chance to get in. I'm going to do a countdown of five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to do some drawings. <clears throat> so it's between KFG, Mohammed, and Miniaku. So Miniaku, uh, if you can give me your username and I'll invite you in. Make sure that your no, private that's settings what I'm on. is yeah. set to invite by everyone and not friends. So in privacy, yes, as she was saying, in privacy, make sure that who can invite you to private server is set to everyone. And then while Miniaku is getting his name ready for me to invite. Uh, Muhammad. Muhammad is also there. I should probably do this. And then what's the day? The 18th? Friday the 18th. Oh, okay, okay, got you. Yeah, there we go. Should really add something that tells you when Windy Beat Tornado is going to go. <laughs> because, yeah, yeah, there's some people that, like, especially, I think it's like blue, blue and red hives have a tendency of not running Windy just because of the sheer fact of haste being removed. Like, just completely eating the haste. I feel like you do need haste to support it, of course, but like, I mean, it's a, it's a whole nother collectible slash interactable, right? Which is pretty good. Yo, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? I 
I'm doing good. How about yourself? What level is your snow bear? Got COVID. Yeah. Okay, I've, well caught, soon. I've caught COVID twice. <clears throat> Once was like last year, and then I caught it this year. Or no, not this year. It was. Actually, it was twice last year. I caught it around February, and then I had it like a few months ago. So I was one of the lucky few that caught COVID twice. Did you have COVID while I've known you? Mm. I don't think so, baby. Maybe not when you've known me, but. It was yeah. around that time, though. It's... Yeah, because you've been been regular sick. Oh, uh, vicious is on Clover. Just a like regular one, though. Um. You guys can go for, been... for vicious. I don't really care for him. You've been normal sick, but not with COVID. I can I can actually look it up. Because I have my test results emailed to me. The February yeah. one was before uh, United States recognized COVID. It was actually the month before they officially announced it. Because they so officially announced ago. it in March. Yeah. Oh, so has it been two years? Two years? Okay. Yeah, it has. Okay, okay, okay. That's so, like... <laughs> and the other one... Let me see if I can find it. Those were negative. Where is it? Those are negative. Negative. You're right. So one of them was two years ago. Oh my God. It's been over a year of COVID. It's, it's, it's We've been had COVID for over a year. That's Fucking crazy, man. We passed two Christmases with COVID. Holy crap. Yeah, it's it's insane. Where's my positive result? Oh, it was September. Not so February yeah. and September two years ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even feel like, yeah. I mean, we're not allowed to see the outside world. We've been trapped in this small box. Time just seems to blend together. Maniac, who I, I asked you what level you snow bear is. Oh, it's level five. Okay. Level five is pretty easy to knock out. I just want to knock oh, yeah. out this uh, mountaintop part first. Well, the, he already spawned it. Already spawned? Was, yeah, he already spawned it. So. <sighs> I don't think that was a maniac. I think that was Muhammad. Pretty sure maniac. Oh yeah, was up it top was Muhammad. Sorry. Sorry. 
It's when people have different screen names compared to what's on their hives and stuff like that. It's yeah, makes BT it so confusing. JRD is Mohammed. Yeah, who's Mania called Sup su Supto something something? <laughs> yeah. Because Maniacu is just called Maniacu. Yeah. I, I saw him now, which is nice, nice and easy. Yeah, I like to keep though, the yeah. name of my hive the same as my username. Makes things exactly. a lot easier. And people don't get confused. Yours is level 17 and yours is level 12. Mine's like level 9. I defeated the level 8 for the quest and I've been chilling. Yeah. No, because that is true. Like, Tabby's not as good as people think. Like, a lot of people think Tabby's, like, the hottest shit since windy b but it's really not no it's no, not would be it's the hardest shit around because it's scratch only happens 50 percent of the time because tabby's love is still active after you're at a thousand stacks which means the ability token rate is actually reduced even further than any other standard B. So say Photon, for example, who's consistently always proccing his, his generation, which is also scaled up as well, is not hindered by RNG. Meanwhile, Tabby is. Prove me wrong, Jacked. The gifted hive bonus is the only redeemable factor of Tabby. Besides that, Tabby's actually garbage. G basic, yeah, gifted basic B got one of those. Only takes around thirty basic eggs, but it, oh my god, it's such a huge upgrade. No, 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 no. Know what the hardest B around is? What? Gummy. Why would you say gummy? It's gummy overlord. The gummy bear is the overlord. Gummy bee is just a random fucking acolyte. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's the acolyte. You're done. Which brings us closer. You're spent. Which mod brings time us out, closer to our great mod, overlord, mod, the gummy mod, bear. Moderator. Time out, Istera. Five minutes. How rude. Took you 2B to get, uh, really? 2B, huh? <gasps> Rare. That's pretty rough. Why don't I boost? Because I don't need to. I'm chilling. Yeah, the, the reason I didn't call it out, the Muhammad, is because they're not going to make it here in time. I, I don't right. really care for the, the rare puffs right now. Yeah. I'm just working on quests and reading and interacting with chat. <laughs> he used 10 bill on basic eggs and donated the rest of them. Yeah. Uh, apparently a lot of people donate a crap ton. I knew we weren't gonna puff it in time. Like, apparently Elo like, donated several teas worth of, uh, basic eggs. <laughs> to the wind shrine. Do, 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 do. Was it 1.4 mil, uh, basic eggs? Did 
that didn't hit. Oh look, a useless ability token. <laughs> I'm gonna point it out over and over. So bad, dude. The moment I saw that, I was like, oh, well, it, obviously it's gonna spawn a scratch, right? <sighs> I think after I finish Mountaintop, I'll down Coconut, which takes, I think, like 15, 20 minutes. Are you good at the B game? Uh, I'm really good at math. I haven't been playing that long. So as far as like design and stuff, yeah. Perez, like you've been called out in chat like a billion times. So I'm just going to be chill about this. I'm not boosting because I'm talking to chat and chilling I don't need to boost I'm not going to be boosting on stream and then sitting there being a bad host because I'm not going to be talking to you guys I have ADHD the moment I start boosting you guys stop existing notice how I'm just doing figure eights and stuff not really paying attention much like I like don't people should be paying attention to when you answer their questions instead of asking the same question five times it's already been answered uh shit. i don't want to use the balloon yet oh i guess i can use the balloon my balloon weirdo yeah i can turn this off for you guys so it's a lot more clear I'm doing good. How are you? I was telling them about our, uh, the coconut field we were doing last night. How are like millions per second? Like, holy shit, dude. It was intense. <laughs> so like the only things I'm really focused on for this stream, by the way, is getting this done right which means I have to kill coconut crab either way no I'm not gonna use macros no and I don't promote macros so no none of that sorry macros is bannable you can and you like you can be banned for macros just so people are aware. Because I'm not one for not optimizing. If I'm using a boost, I'm not going to be paying attention to chat. I'm not going to waste a boost. My focus has no chill. It's either at a billion or it's at zero. Yeah. Like there's no in between. For someone with ADHD, there's no real in between. You either give it all or you don't. Yeah, you can gift uh you can get a gift of basic B from uh basic eggs. The official per percentage of getting a gifted not basic but just getting a gifted in general is one out of 250 in the rumored calculated amount for getting a basic b is one in uh 287 so on average one in 300 eggs If 
if you don't have diamond mask, you may want to save your diamond eggs on like, especially since you just listed off, um, well, I, I mean, I get, I, I guess it depends if you're going to be blue or red hive, right? Because you use the color respectively to the mask. Thank you for the spots. Yo, what's good penguin? How are you doing, Penguin? Oh, if you're going red, then it is what it is. It doesn't matter as much. If you want Diamond Mask, then I would recommend saving your eggs because they're kind of hard to get. Because Coconut Crab requires no effort whatsoever. Those are two different things. When I'm trying to maximize these numbers and optimize them as much as possible, I don't have time to reach out and make sure these numbers are as high as I possibly can get it while farming. Meanwhile, Coconut Crab, I just move left and right and you win. Also, backseat gaming? Yeah. I think he's just curious what the big difference is. And Santiago, like, just to prove a point, like, a lot of people are asking, how the hell did I get so far within a short amount of time? Like, one, I get a lot of help from viewers. Two, like, I did professional gaming for, like, five years. Like, gaming, it like, I've, I've always been top of worlds for a lot of shit. So, for me... Doing math, figuring out optimizations, figuring out best builds, doing all that kind of stuff that's natural and normal for me. So for me to be completely optimized, say with generating as much pollen and honey per second as possible, I'm not going to sit there and waste my time. Well, it's not a waste. It's just like I'm not going to sit there and be able to focus on reading chat while doing it. Meanwhile, this takes next to no brain capacity, right? The only way I see people dying to coconut crab is literally from lag. I don't know. I, I think buying diamond eggs kind of sucks. The, the value is too, or the cost is too high for what they're valued at. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh. <coughs> yeah, it kind of sucks big time. Because in, in the later game... Like the only value of uh, diamond eggs is straight up just for crafting, right? Crafting and donating to the wind shrine, which is something that I think is kind of unfortunate, right? Because royal jellies becomes the meta. Precious is like beyond mountain top, maybe. I'll go check. Yeah, because you're downing bosses and stuff like that. No. You might be on Pepper, but I can't go there. I check. I could probably check. Yeah, he's on Pepper. Vicious is on right. Pepper. I think it's only you and a Maniac who can actually go there, so... Feel free, Maniac, if you want to go get Vicious. Yeah, I don't care for it. Yeah. And Loot Lux. Yeah, I didn't even consider Loot Lux. Thank you, Penguin. <clears throat> There's Loot Lux and you're able to down more bosses. Right? You start downing Snail regularly. You're downing Coco Crab. You're... You're making sure you're doing tunnel and king beetle on rotation.
No. Because I don't waste resources. If I'm going to boost, I'm going to do it right. There's no in between. There's no in between with me. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. Like, I'll waste the coconut crab one because it's one minute. Or not one minute. It's a four hour cooldown. Right? A four hour cooldown doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me. Right? But what are the ones that I need to do? Mountaintop, coconut, and dandelion. So blue and red headquarters can't affect it. So the only one that I can do a, like a field boost that's free is pretty much, uh, well, I guess I could have rolled the 20 for the mountaintop, but I don't really care. It was halfway done anyways, but the coconut one's pretty free and 150 mil is really not that much. <laughs> the thing is, is like the moment I use it, I don't want to leave the field too. I hate wasting. So I should be doing this. I hate my back capacity right now as well. Constantly last having night, to go back and forth. Yeah, last night I was really hating my back capacity. Yeah. Yeah, because as you said, it's, it's you're, you're wasting time on boosters and stuff because you have to go on load. Yeah, that's why when Muhammad is like, I want to fill my bag as fast as possible. I'm like, no, 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 no. But I guess it. then again, there is a reason for it. He is early game. You know what I mean? At early yeah. game, it does kind of feel that that is difficult. Yeah, and you keep trying to change my mind. I don't waste materials. And again, I did gift to Tabby. I guess the 50% focus is... Or... Crit power is good. Meh. Probably put these down. Um, please tell me you didn't waste tickets on gumdrops. Unless you were really close. If you were like really close, then I can kind of understand it. But if you spent anything more than like 50, like I would say 50 is top end. If you spent more than 50 tickets at an early game for getting um, gumdrops, it's kind of rough, dude. How come, Abby? You spent 400. Oh my god. That's terrible. Yeah, they're incredibly overpriced. The thing is, is like the difference between like if 50 tickets, I'll let slide. It's whatever, you know, but like. 400 tickets you just murdered yourself yeah and if you spent over 500 tickets and not grab photo like 
that's just you're you're shooting yourself in the foot like actually shooting yourself in the foot <laughs> like I said like 50 tickets is kind of like that that return value is fine right 50 tickets closes it out you get your your gummy bee slightly sooner it's fine right if you feel like you just grinded out a bunch of gumdrops and you're really close and you're feeling fatigued yada 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 you have the option of a waiting until later or b just finish it up right like i can like if someone told me they spent f like 50 tickets i'm like okay that's fine whatever but I agree that it's overpriced. It's completely overpriced. And I think it's also because, like, uh, Penguin, you gotta realize, too, like, at the earlier games, people think, like, tickets are very, like, an abundant resource, right? Because you feel like you're getting a billion of them from all the achievements and stuff. But then in the later game, you start to realize, like, oh my god, tickets are fucking hard to get. Yeah, it's a bit of a scam. I've only collected 17 mil while doing this. I don't think the return on effort's worth it. You got your honey master batch today? Nice. Use 2k on stingers for demon mass? That's really bad. I think stingers are like infinitely worse than gumdrops. It'd be 2,500 tickets for a Vicious Bee. Oh, that's true, because it is uh, 10 tickets per singer. Quick mass. Dude, Vicious. it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Singers are just completely overpriced. Like, don't get me wrong. Vicious Bee is disgustingly strong, but still. I feel like all of the resources, if not just most of them, is super overpriced. Compared to what they're actually worth. I think honey is the only thing that you should feel free about spending. Yeah. Honey is the one resource that you can just toss away and it's whatever. I even know Annette doesn't want you to buy singers with tickets. Yeah. Dude is just straight up scamming people. There's like various ways of doing it, right? In my opinion, you should be collecting stingers passively. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm so tunnel visioned on being interactive with the chat and then also, um, like getting this quest done, I would be camping out every single bee that I see, like vicious bee that comes out, right? Like every single one of them. 
But right now, since I'm focused on these two things, I'm just ignoring them for the time being. But you should always passively be farming those anyways. You can't get Demon Mask before Vicious. I mean, you can, but not really. Yeah. Demon Mask is good for boss clearing, right? Regardless of Hive. If you're white or blue, you still want to run Demon Mask just to knock out bosses slightly faster. It's 25% attack bonus, which is not something to scoff at. And then for Red Hive, yeah, that's that's their meta pick is Red. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So I think Demon Mask is really strong. You still want it regardless of Hive, but you're not going to use it around the clock. You, But you do have to turn it on every time you're going to do your boss runs. You donated 100 singers. Why would you do that? <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I agree. I 100% agree. Like, you're not, you're not going to prioritize getting Demon Mask that much more than Vicious. Because Vicious is, I mean, it's only 250 singers. And then once you, it's, it's a constant thing that's helping you out. Versus, like, a Demon Mask is not constantly there for you. You, you have to equip it. Unless you're a red hive. If you're a red hive, then yeah, you're always using it. But like, if you're white, blue, or hybrid, you're not using it. Mm hmm. Vicious B is stupid cheap in comparison. One more B is all I need. Oh, are you at 34? Yeah. So, I just Give need... Give me all those coconuts. 150 mil more. And I can get the last one. Okay. Now I can go finish Mountaintop. The 50 mil that I need from Mountaintop. And then I'll go... Windy B, Mountaintop. Yes, let's go, baby. I need these. <sighs> Get hey. over here, bees. Hurry up, bees. Oop. All right, you ready? All right, let's grab this bad boy. Come on, Vicious B, give me the stinger. There it is. Good. I think it might have been Muhammad just trolling. Okay, Vicious B, do your job.
think it's going clover. Yep. I feel like this is gonna be the real bottleneck for me is the uh Windy Bee tokens. I I wouldn't say it's as bad as that because <laughs> gummy baller is the second most expensive item thing in the game. But it is pretty bad. You need more token link tokens. I, dude, I, I get the feels. You feel like there's never enough. But sadly, the more token links you have, the less valuable your token links become. <laughs> Come on, Wendy, give me that good, good stuff. Where to go? Spider. Okay. Spider. Oh, you're going for a gummy baller? Maniac, what kind of hive are you? I didn't check your hive yet. You probably said it and I, I missed it. Oh, you poor vicious bee. Looks like we're going coconut. Good thing I cleared the coconut crab. Blue going for a petal plant. You don't have petal planter? All right, Santiago, you have a good one, brother. How do you have coconut canister, but you don't have petal or the, uh, the, um, whatchamacallit, petal wand. Stop. I hate honey storm. Honey storm yeah. is so toxic. Where'd he go? Uh, Clover. Okay. Then I can actually be a part. Uh, 2.5 T. Isn't that the pesticide? No. There's no 2.5 T. Pesticide is like, what? 750 bill? I think. No, I think it might be. I might need to check. There's the plant, uh, planter of plenty, which is like, yeah, you, pesticide is 750 mil. Oh. Okay. And it gives 200 mil after eight hours. Right. No, I only can get him halfway. Rip, Dream's dead. Okay. <sighs> Thank you, Windy B. Appreciate you. Yeah, I, you know what? I was actually expecting um, pesticide to be more expensive. Like, I'm not going to lie. I thought pesticide was going to be a lot more expensive. Because to be honest... That's pretty cheap. Right? But it the the only thing I don't like about it is like bitter berries and neon berries, like they're good late late game, but for me it's kind of like eh. Yeah, you get 
200 mil, but the problem is it only goes to your pollen cap. Right? So if you don't have 200 mil in your capacity, you're not going to make use of it. So for like a white hive, if you're not like, I'm not sure how much more you get from coconut canister, but like for me, it's not as good. It's 5T honey. You're probably thinking planter of plenty, which is like what? A hundred trill. Well, the only one underneath that is uh, the pesticide planter, which is, um, yeah, like I knew that one was at like a hundred trill, but the uh, pesticide planters at 750 mil, it completely skips. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, maniac. Sorry, maniac. I was missing. I was missing. I was missing it. Yeah, the petal one. Right, right, right. My bad. Petal planter. I completely forgot about that. My bad. What does petal planter give? No, there's no link. Private invites. I invite two people at a time. Oh, they're doing an upgrade on blue and red planter. Hundred B. That's quite a bit. Um, field dice and glitter. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> 50 swirl and 25 super smoothies. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a minute before I get that one Cuz uh, it's that planters not coming before gummy baller. That's for sure. I'm getting gummy baller first So I'm not I'm not using those smoothies and swirls and stuff Well super smoothies is like the hardest thing to get right for a lot of these crafts Except for turpentine. Turpentine is just rough, man. Speaking of. Should probably do this now. Seven more uses for my turpentine. It's also crazy expensive. We'll throw this on. From a rose plastic planner. Uh, my Navi or Ghostica got a turpentine from the candy one. From the candy planner. You've only been able to craft one turpentine? Shit. Because you need five for the gummy baller. And you need 50 super smoothies, which is very expensive. Probably be watching the quests just so when I'm done with this area, I can move on. <clears throat> you got three out of five. Nice. Thank you. 
Legendary puffs. Okay, so me and um, Penguin were playing and we were getting a lot of rare puffs Like rare and leg like we saw legendary like pretty easily so I think Because I know I know he was talking about up upping the rate of which you would see rare and legendary and epics and stuff like that So I think he shadow added it in and uh, Penguin is was the one that Caught it first too because usually people have to like be really organized to get those legendaries Yeah There's certain aspects of RNG that I don't mind, right? If it's something you can grind out and eventually get it, no problem, whatever. But if it's something that's like on a timer, dude, that is horrible. Is there locations for golden eggs? Pretty sure there's like eggs hidden all around and stuff. You just kind of casually find them. Almost done with this bad boy. Isn't the one in the werewolf cave a uh, diamond egg? Is it a golden one? Actually, it might be a golden, golden one. Let me pick up my pocket change and then we'll go over to coconut. Where are you farming, babe? Pine. Where are you farming, babe? Pine. Oh, okay. Have my beans. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god, my, my bag is already full again. I just unloaded it. Trust me, guys. You don't want to fill up your bags this quick. It, it kind of sucks, to be honest. Yeah. Like, it's it's nice because, <clears throat> you know, like, you're getting lots of honey in. But you literally just arrive to a field. You're there for, like, 30 seconds, and then you have to go back to unload, which takes, like, five minutes. I was like, fuck. Welcome back. Going to the beach this this time of year? Where the hell do you live? Tropical regions tend to be on the beach a lot. 
Yeah, because I'm like, in, in we, we had snow today. Like, I don't, I can't even imagine going to the beach. In Japan, people go to uh, the beach during, during winter times, like all the time, anyways. They may I mean, not be swimming, it, it's but. Nice. Yeah. Chili. Yeah. Oh no, I dropped all my coins. Yeah, because like here it's been snowing, it's been monsoon weather, storming like crazy, it's like the ocean is coming down. And that's just normal weather for us at this time of year. It's a perfect stay at home, drink a cup of tea, weather. Good old festive. What exactly procs the festive mark? Because I love getting these. But how does one f get those? Yeah. an ability token from festive B I'm assuming yeah it's the no. bright red token that spawns the gift packet it's the 13th present did I not read that Oh, it's a B equip. Oh. Oh. Can I get a bunch of those? Can I have one spawning every like five minutes, please? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's from a quest. So you're going to be limited to one on the bottom right of the screen. I can actually move that over for you guys. Hold on. Do, 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 do. It's a little thing. That I added to the stream. Oops. To do that. Move that out of the group. So I can move it to the left. Save. Is it far enough to the left? There you go. So, there was a couple things I've been considering adding. Um, that is one that is part of the stream, depending how it goes. But essentially, whenever someone subscribes or does something, that little boyo will do stuff. So essentially, here, let me pull up this full settings. Subscription, tips, memberships, and super chats. We'll send a little ball down that into that cup. And it's a little mini game. <laughs> I wonder if it'll do it if I replay a subscriber. Let's give it a shot. Nope. 
I think it has to be new new subscribers only. There was another one too that I was considering doing. Um, and it was a raid boss. So essentially, from what it looks like, it's inter it's interactable just like how the cup is, but instead there is a boss HP bar that lowers more and more based on like engagements. Right, like tips, super chats, membership, subscribers, pretty much deal X amount of damage. Um, the UI broke, baby. Is it broken? Broken? Yeah, I think it's yeah. broken. Broken. Okay, hold on one second. I I wonder if this will fix it. If I just toggle it off and then toggle it. Give it a sec. Oh, that's one way to do it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was just kind of thinking, uh, like I did a few changes to the stream. Borders, um, stream quality I've been working on a lot. Added that. Just some minor stuff. Making it all look sticky. kind of want to roll a bill, but I shouldn't. I don't think I should. So it's like five. Actually, I should. I actually should now. This is one of those times where rolling those are actually good. I'll wait until after, after I finish this field. After I finish this field, I'll roll like a... Uh, how many do I have? Penguin's trying to see if he can proc it with the uh, subscribe. I think it's new only. It might be new only, yeah. but we'll see. Yeah, I think it's. it might only be new ones. Actually, I might have a dummy account that I can use. Um... see if that works <laughs> oh I think I might have that field turned off for this account oh we'll see <laughs> <laughs> oh well something we'll, we'll see might if it happen works. eventually yeah we'll see if it if it changes yeah. If not, it... When is the next reset? We can actually do that pretty soon. We've been going on for quite a while. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Be careful. Has 69 views. Classy. Yeah, we could do a little reset. Ugh. Ugh. And I'll go get some lemonade real quick.
Hmm. I think I need to... I'll do this later. But I think I need to set up different stream elements to incorporate different things, such as this. So I could toggle it. And then... Um, can do something like that. And I set a timer. Set of five minutes. So in five minutes, I'll do some drawings. I think we need to do a full server reset. I'm pretty sure if if asked, people will swap out. But um, I'm on 121 mil now, and I need yeah, 200. new people only. I actually have a list of people. So if if someone that want to pro like previous one enters in and wins and I'm I'm just gonna re-roll it and if everyone that's entered is already been in in one then we'll go on to round two and then I'll put an X two uh we do have a vicious on pepper if people want it oh star jelly Find the star jelly. Damn it. Soon. I can't go to Pepper oh. Field. Normally I grab that and move on to the next one, but uh, I should have went with it. Okay, I'm gonna grab this vicious. It seems like no one else wants it. Oh, there's only me and Maniac, and I think Maniac's helping you. Yeah, Maniac is boosting me, which is really, really mm -hmm. nice. In order for me to add you, I have to give you a private link. Uh, pretty much I have to generate a URL. You've come back. No, it's not too late. Week. There's another two minutes and 20 seconds for people to enter. Well, the thing is, is if I start adding people, people flood my game. And they'll join without asking. Yeah. And then it it also becomes chaotic because this account mainly is for playing with my son and playing with Istera. So like even though I use it for streaming and stuff like that. But no, it's it's because he's he's under the age of thirteen, so he can't change his status. Which I don't like you also have to be verified to do certain stuff too. Okay, one minute until we swap. Nice. Okay, you still got one minute to enter. Mm -hmm. The draw. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I'm. The thing is, is I'm not adding people anymore. Because every day, I, like, it would be like seven new people. And if I just keep adding people, it's just going to clog the whole list. And I don't want to yeah. do that. And and we really, really want to keep the server open for streams and for people to join in when they're watching the stream and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And when they were on the friends list, they would just randomly join without even watching the stream. Uh, additional entries does not help. It's only, uh, you only have to type it once. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What happened, baby? <laughs> Apologies for Google timer going crazy. Uh oh. Um. Okay. Rolling. Uh, penguin. Um, okay. So people in here, um, so BTRJ mania, if you could, please, uh, make sure you grab your clock if you need to, but we need to swap people out. But thank you for the boost mania. Yeah. We I'm appreciate having you guys on. 146 now. So I'm close. I'm close. So thank you very much. Soon I can conquer the whole game. There's no place I can't go. Muhammad, I need you to swap out. Does this guy like join into the private server and then he just doesn't pay attention? Absolutely. I think, I think he literally joins the server and then he just leaves. Oh my God, dude. I actually have to reset it. Okay. He, he might be macroing. I'm actually not on, I'm unsure. He, I think he is. He might be actually he, macroing. He moves to one field and he just okay, stands there he's auto clicking. I'm not no. Guys, if you AFK in here, like it's the fastest way to get blacklisted. I should probably put a timestamp too. It's not an AFK server. We we keep yeah. saying you that will, you will over get and over again. Or you'll get blacklisted. I won't let you back in. If you AFK on here, you will get blacklisted. You won't come back in. Like, if you need to AFK for like five minutes, it's fine. But if you say you get invited to the private server and then it's time for rotation. And so you close the stream and then I reach out to you in the game and you ignore me and you're just AFK, you will get blacklisted. I'm not going to waste my time with that server. The stream is rated for TVMA. If you're not allowed to watch TVMA, then you shouldn't be here. Right. Because it's disrespectful to every other viewer if I tolerate that kind of stuff. And I don't want to deal with it. Uh, give you five minutes? Yeah. If, if, you win, if you win a slot, then yeah. There's no problem with waiting like five minutes. Um, penguin. Let me grab you real quick. Do, 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 do
You know, it's just, so easy but... to invite Penguin because his YouTube matches with his in-game. Oh, it's so easy, man. It's just... Bam. I already got him. He doesn't even have to say okay. his name. Uh, you can join. If you, if you win the next roll, then you can definitely join. There's nothing wrong with that. So penguins invited. Okay. Next winner is. Oh, Santiago Perez. <laughs> no, it's RNG dependent. So essentially, let me move this window out. And then add sources. I think it would be under browser. Browser. And then if I... Oh, no, 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 no. It can't be that one. It's not browser. What is it? Um, I'll just do display. So Nightbot has the settings, right? And essentially what happens is I can enter in a keyword, regular channel members and users, right? So pretty much anyone can get in. The luck, there's no extra luck or anything. I set the keyword and I could mark this, but then people will instantly become ineligible because they try again and again and again. And then I can roll it. Now I can set who gets it, right? I could like modify, like say, oh, only my Navi can get in, right? But I don't do that. Essentially, I have a list that I'm doing on me and I stairs server where looks something like this right and so I know who got in and it's it's <sighs> not it's not as one liner right there's multiple lines and stuff so I can keep track of who who's been able to join you know what I mean Oh, thank you, Maniac. <laughs> um, I'm at 186. Okay, now I can delete that. Now we can turn that off. Let's see where sure my thing, field Sam. takes me. Uh, Penguin? Did he get the invite? Did it not go through? Field is okay, taking okay, me so far. <laughs> no, I, I just I just resent it. Were you able to get it? And then I need Santiago Perez's uh, Roblox tag. Yeah, target practice is really strong. Especially, so I don't know if the buff went through it uh, for precision yet or not, but they're buffing precision. Or he might have just gotten the buff. Not sure which. I'm on 300 tickets as well, as well so I'm pretty close to getting thrown down myself.
Photon is really strong. Yeah. Oh my god, my snail movement. <clears throat> <laughs> This old man movement? What? You're not that old. Tell that to my character. He's moving like a damn snail. <laughs> Good luck on the mythic. Yeah, ticket planners do help with generating tickets. Why boss spawn is so rare? Boss spawn. What boss spawn? I I need your I need your Roblox name. if I don't have their Roblox name. Yeah. The as soon as you put your Roblox name in chat, I can invite you. Oh, there we go. I didn't see it above. Good night, KFG. Okay, I just scrolled up quite a bit. Uh, night, KFG. I just scrolled up quite a bit. If you're saying like a previous stream, dude, I'm not gonna remember it. I'm not memorize, yeah. dude, dude. I'm not gonna memorize names. I'm not doing it. I also didn't see him post his name late today. Yeah, you you haven't posted your name today. Essentially. If you win a giveaway, just provide me with your in-game. Even if you've given it to me before, it is much easier for you to give it to me than to me remember. Right? Because, like, as we wrote through, uh, rotate through people, you know, there's over 70 names. I'm not memorizing everyone. You said it's literally four above you? I'm scrolling up as well. There's nothing. No, it's not. My guy. There's nothing. No, there's not. Literally nothing. 196. Almost dear boys. Okay. Now time to go mess up Dandelion. Oh, I should give you, um... Where'd you go? Me? Oh, you're on Blue Flower. Here. Oh, Take them. No, 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 I'm gonna go look oh, for the Wendy. Beans. See if we can grab another oh. Wendy. Wendy's up? I don't know if Wendy's up. Uh. What's the timer like for Tunnel Bear? Oh, I can't wait till the day I can actually kill hours? Tunnel Bear, so... Yeah, Vicious, you probably can. Yeah, but uh, he, my spikes always spawn behind him for some reason. So uh, it's a big rift. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to do a fly around on him, but that's... yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Maybe on Clover. 
Yeah, there's nothing in Clover. No, it's not in. Yeah, what I've told people before, and I'll t say it again. If it doesn't come on the UI on the bottom left, I didn't see it. No, no, no reason to get hostile towards us. It's it's YouTube's fault, not ours. Extremely overpriced? Mm, yes and no. There's people that are maxing out their... Um... Oh, no, I can't. Not level right now. I need to roll one of them. I did say after coconut, I will roll because I do need to roll. Um, the additional shocked is gifted shocked is nice and all, but there's way better. I, I, I know, Sam, we, we used to play a lot of horror games, but it's actually really, really, really hard to find good ones. Yeah. It's, uh... My, my husband at, doesn't get scared. <laughs> if you look at the trailer, uh, you'll see that our tr our YouTube channel trailer right now is literally of us playing horror games in VR chat. Yeah, but it's yeah, so a hard. As well. It's so hard to find like a good horror map. Yeah. And I'm, I just I'm, want more Wendy's right now. Jeez. I'm too scared to play fast mode, honestly. Five hundred for a gifted rare or a gifted brave? Ugh. Oh, a gifted shock. Well, actually, the, I think that might actually be better than the gifted exhausted. Here we go. Let's yeah. see. It's better than the gifted exhausted. So. Oh. Mm. I'm one mil short. Swapped out a exhausted for a shocked. Not terrible. So now we mess up dandelion for a bit and then we'll be almost done with this. Yeah, I need to get 200 tokens from Wendy. You have a good night, uh, my Navi. I think the very best map we had would probably have been the first time we went through uh, with uh, Satamilia. Yeah. I think Satamilia was a very good first encounter. Why is the tornado all the way over there? somewhere maybe mountaintop probably mountaintop or pineapple yeah he's not in clover that's for sure yep not empty uh pineapple it is 
That's flying pineapple. Yeah, because I honestly miss doing horror, but... It's just there's no good ones. Yeah. Though now I'm also kind of scared of doing it, because, uh... My old apartment, my neighbors wouldn't hear me screaming, but here it's... Not that sound It good. is so laggy all of a sudden. Yo, I, I don't think we can stack that many bees all on top of each other like that. Oops. That was Chica. really bad. I think MT. Have I considered switching to Twitch? I've considered it. Um, Because YouTube stream quality is kind of garbo. Oh uh, yeah, it's MT. Uh, YouTube streaming is kind of garbo, regardless of how good I try and set up the setting. Just, yo, am I not going to be able to get tokens? Wendy's on rest. Yeah, but he was on mountaintop and someone fucking nuked it before I even got there. It was actually uh, me that convinced him to to do YouTube instead mm. of Twitch, because because he started out on Twitch. Um, I, I I like YouTube because the videos are placed on your channel, so people could mm -hmm. have them there. I know Twitch has Twitch vods, but that's only available if you're affiliate. Plus, the discoverability yeah. on Twitch is really bad, like really yeah. really bad. Meanwhile, there's a lot more people on YouTube searching on YouTube yeah. for like, say, B like if you type in Bee Swarm Simulator, it is likely that you will find my channel unless your channel is marked as a younger age. And also this way we could create content like videos and stuff like mm -hmm. that, not just only streams. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing a mixture of both, but yeah. I also definitely wanna wanna learn to get better at, at video editing and stuff like that. Because um oh, where was that going? Um Because she wants to do the... highlight reels and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Like I want to do highlight reels for the the channel and uh, yeah, you can stream way. both at once, but it takes a ridiculous amount of bandwidth. And mm -hmm. if you were going to go with say um, a restream program, those cost monthly, and I'm not going to pay monthly for something I haven't been making money on. Yeah. Shoot. Um. But I can video editing. But what I've considered doing was... What is the video editing what? What's the video editing program called again? I, I don't know why it's Adobe completely... Premiere Pro? Yeah. Premiere. There you go. I, I don't know why that absolutely slipped my mind. But, um... Essentially, what it... What it comes... Yeah, you can stream both, but it takes a crap ton of bandwidth. Like a crap ton. Like I'm doing 25 meg upload right now for YouTube. If I try and give it more, like it's like upload is different than download too, by the way.
because I have ridiculous download. If I could run the streams on my download, no problem. But that's not the case. So essentially what a lot of uh, streamers do if they're trying to stream both is they'll use a rebroadcasting uh, program, which essentially will take the feed from, say, Twitch and then port it to YouTube or vice versa. Right. But those cost monthly, which kind of sucks in my opinion. And it, it would be different if you were were making money and stuff like that. Yeah, if I was making a fair amount of profit, I would consider it, but... <laughs> the thing is, is like, I do believe Twitch provides a better stream. Because one, it has bits, which is really useful. And then, then it has like... As it's just the encoder itself is better for for uh, Twitch and YouTube it, it their their route is so messy or something because like no matter how much I feed into it the quality is less than what it would be if I pushed it onto Twitch yeah but YouTube is trying to become a stream platform too yeah That's they're the trying and and they are improving and stuff like that and even even twitch streamers say that eventually twitch is going to die eventually no, it's not going to happen tomorrow Pe people are well the thing is is like people are thinking it's going to be relatively soon yeah and it's because like their quality has degraded over the years with the number of like <sighs> Okay, here we go. Let's touch some controversy. Are we gonna go in there? Yeah, we're gonna go into controversy mode. Hold on. I got my my last B slot. Grats, grats. Thank you. Controversy B. time. Yes, I know Man Maniacu was staying around, staying up for this moment. Here we go. Gotta fill out that spot. I get my get my double kill. And let's roll jelly it and see what we get. Frosty? Hmm. Let's see if we can get something better. Maybe a legendary would be nice. Okay. <laughs> yep, it's straight up controversy time. Where I will be talking about some stuff that will hit some buttons for a lot of people. Sleepful um, maniac. Thank you yeah, for the help. You have, you have a good night, maniac. Um Did Did he even say he was going to bed? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, he he said he was going to bed after uh, I got my Bobby. Anyways, so Twitch is a dying platform. Reason for that. Twitch's standards and of what they upheld as community acceptable has been degrading over time. And I don't just mean e-girls, but also the toxic fucking streamers. By that I mean these individuals that like, okay, Dr. Disrespect did it as a me right mm -hmm. and he made like funny content like he was being toxic but he was trying to be funny with it meanwhile you look at a lot of these other streamers they're just garbage you too maniac you have a good one and and it's degraded to the point where twitch is surviving based on a drop system right uh thank you brother and by that i mean Amazon took over and then they push drops onto the platform. They provide a free Twitch or a free Twitch prime, right? Or a free mm -hmm. Twitch like subscription or whatever, right? The, the prime subscription with while having Amazon prime. So they're trying to integrate the two, the two, uh, networks together, right? Twitch and Amazon as much as possible to, in order to force people to incorporate both in their daily lives. 
and give benefits for both. So this is a like a cross my, uh, marketing platform idea that a lot of people do, right? So when you go into these like games and they feature some other things such as like, oh, the time I was reincarnated in a slime is now being introduced to Raid Shadow Legends. It's like, well, they're doing that because they're trying to hit multiple markets, right? Because here's the thing. If you watch uh, the time I was reincarnated into a slime, but then every time you saw Raid Shadow Legends memeing, like the, the number of ads and YouTubers that they buy out, it's just a meme to you and you, you can't stand it. Well, guess what? Eventually, that starts to dwindle your, your... In YouTube, there's... Yeah, there's no hot tub streams. That's another thing, too. Like, I... Anyways, uh, I'll, I'll hit that subject. Trust me, I will hit that subject. Um, But meanwhile, like, Amazon just has this whole mindset of, okay, we need to incorporate this in their daily life routine and incorporate it into everything that they do. So they'll have no choice but to use this as their platform and this and that. And so much, they're trying to trap you into Twitch right is what they're trying to do it is one thing to provide a service or good or uh reaching demographics it's a whole nother thing to try and entrap you into it and it's another reason why people hate facebook okay because facebook doesn't provide anything actually good or reasonable for the community all it does is it tries to trap people into giving them their data so they end up making more from marketing now mm -hmm. hot tub streams are they the absolute worst? Yes and no. Hot stu hot tub streams are so toxic because 95% of the time that you jump into a hot tub stream, all it is is someone going, oh, look, I'm in a hot tub and I'm barely chatting. I have no intellectual value whatsoever. There's no engaging conversation. You're here for my tits. Right? Yeah. There are some of them. That use hot tub stream to get people to come watch their stuff and then they actually really engage and they have interesting conversations i'm not going to say every single hot tub streamer is terrible 95 percent of them yes and you know what if you go into there because you're thirsty and you're like i want to see boobies which is fucking weird because you're on the internet don't waste your time with a hot tub stream dude like it's you're just feeding into that market, that demographic. It only enables them to continue doing what they're doing, right? YouTube does not condone any of that behavior. They, oh my God. Could you imagine if I just stripped down into boxers and jumped into a hot tub? Do you know how quick I would be booted off this platform? It's not acceptable, man. It's not acceptable. The, the, why is Twitch becoming a, a soft porn platform right and they're doing it to themselves he wouldn't want to get his fursuit wet jesus christ <laughs> to me i kids think that if you give money to them yeah you know what even though half of that is censored yeah here's the thing but they do take it off. That does happen. There's a reason why a lot of Twitch streamers get banned. And it's because they get nude on Twitch. And sometimes they get away with it. But here's the problem. Twitch lets it happen because it gets them views. Right? And money. And it makes them money. If it makes Twitch money, they they shr they become shriveled old men and go get all grimy for it. They don't care, right? Th at the end of the day, that's what happened to OnlyFan. Look what happened to OnlyFan, right? OnlyFans is now known as a porn website. It yep. is known to be a porn website. Did you know that wasn't the initial intentions at all for OnlyFans? Like it wasn't at all. It was trying to take over the Patreon 
completely <laughs> the fans were just like the community just like no nah, i'm just gonna use this and sh like show off my tits like bro if you don't stomp it right away it becomes a huge issue the problem with twitch is they're not gonna stomp the hot tub streams because they got a little bit of a taste of the money from it right and they're hitting a new demographic it's no longer just gamers it's now people that have hormones right <laughs> honestly can yeah, anyone no. prove me wrong it was just so beautifully put <laughs> and it's it's toxic do you think i want to be on a platform that's known for having those those fucking all those all those demographics like toxic ass streamers um hot tub streams just e-girls trying to play into the shit and then like don't even get me started on vtubers right the vtuber community has degraded like crazy on twitch too mm -hmm. right before you would see like like vtubers were just generally people that were really invested and wanted to stream maybe some of them have social anxiety some of them have like issues with with being seen but they you know they're trying to have a platform that you can actually see someone i wouldn't say all vtubers suck but a lot of vtubers suck because you know what it degraded into oh my goodness that's what it's fucking turned into it is so cringy vtuber is a virtual uh entertainer right pretty much they have an avatar set up and the avatar represents them and so it will have motion capture and rigging to kind of replicate what the person's doing like you would see like maybe my hand comes up to wipe my face or i'm looking to the left i'm looking to the right yada 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 um but essentially like originally vtubers were interesting characters i'll use um a great case in scenario is iron mouse very wholesome mm -hmm. vtuber right it was pretty interesting to watch but then over the years it's degraded so badly as more people entered that market it just ruined it right and so to me Twitch is known for just having a really shitty bunch of streamers. And it's just because they promote all this random content, right? They they promote it. They don't do anything about it. And the, anything that's borderline, it increases the views of the channel. And so they're like, no, nah, it's fine. That's not fucking content, guys. I like I have a hard time figuring out what to do for content too my only thing is controversy time like i enjoy talking about controversy and making people think right think about what you're watching what you're doing right i'm not gonna say i'm better than other people because i'm not like i have flaws and stuff too but when you're doing stuff like that like dude you feed into creeps you feed into like bad behavior like this is not how society should be running hot touch streams and stuff like that are just people who don't know how to make good content 100 percent accuracy right there most of them are women pretending to have a japanese voice which makes my ears bleed okay i'm japanese right and I'm gonna tell you right now, the cutesy little anime voice, once in a blue moon, if that women would do that, right? And it's mm -hmm. only, most of the time, it's because they're trying to be funny, right? American culture has fucked like that whole viewpoint for me because, uh, like, most, like, foreigners right people that aren't japanese that do that it's no longer just a meme or a joke like they find it actually like sexualized and this and that and it's just so fucking weird 
to me is like it's it doesn't hold the same principle or values like it was misinterpreted and then it was driven from there you know what i mean mm -hmm. so to me it's like i don't mind the the ara ara every now and then or e even some of the flirtatious behavior but when it's consumed all of your content and that's all of what you provide then you're just another copy paste generic streamer offering nothing new to the platform and therefore you're just fucking boring right yeah that's my viewpoint so that's my problem with twitch and that's why twitch is gonna die because they promote bad behavior and bad content yeah and bad content they promote bad content so to me I only want to stream on Twitch just because their encoder and stuff is just so nice. Why did the chicken eat KFC? No idea. Anyways, so we'll end controversy time. Clear that out. <laughs> yeah. Well, YouTube is gonna get there. Like, we're just writing it out mm -hmm. right now. Like, I don't doubt that YouTube will get there. I think YouTube has huge potential. It's just they need yeah. better net code. Yeah, because I, I can't remember if it was... I think it was you and me that talked about it. Like, why is the streaming site so far down on YouTube? It should be on the top. Like, next to your subscribers and stuff like that. Hold on, babe. Let me address this real mm -hmm. quick. Mm -hmm. I got blacklisted because I was on the other side of the house because I rushed and so i couldn't leave quote acer acer how about that time you took like 30 minutes because you went to mcdonald's instead of actually leaving this the server to allow another person in you just occupied it in afk um how about the time that you joined in pretend it was your friend that was the one that joined in when we're in the middle of a stream right on a two-player cap and then how about the time dude i can go on and on it's not about what you were doing it's about what you did right when the the slots are limited and you go afk in the server it's rude to everyone else it's the same reason why muhammad got blacklisted because the dude just macros Right, he joined in and he macroed. It's very rude. Oh, diamond aphid. That's the first time I've seen a diamond one. What does he get? Where is it? I already killed it. Oh. <laughs> uh, glittered gumdrops, beans, moon charms, field dice. Whatever. Yeah, Mohammed. I tried talking to you in game and you didn't respond. And I told you we were swapping people out, but you just ignore. Dude, we were typing to you. You walked over to Strawberry, you walked up, and you just started AFK. Like, that's not okay. Do you want me to go back to you? You were auto-clicking because you were eating. Did you not see in the chat that I said, hey, we're swapping people out? I called out for you, you just didn't respond? Multiple no, see you're not... Yeah, we called out multiple times. We called out on stream and then we even I even typed out in game for you. Yeah, exactly. Like let's say okay, I I'll, I'll say let's just say you were weren't macroing and you just auto clicking. Why wouldn't you just respond? See, that's what I'm talking about. That's why you got banned. Guys, don't do that. That's rude. Bro, that's so rude to every other viewer. Don't come into the server to AFK. If you if have, you to, have go to AFK, AFK just leave. leave. Just leave so other people can join in. That's fucking rude. What is so Again. hard about that? There's other people waiting to get in, and right. you can get in later. Yeah, 100%. Even if you leave early, I'll put that into consideration. 
You know how many times Sam leaves for other people and Penguin leaves for other people? You don't think I put that into consideration? Like, people are so fucking genuine and nice and they help each other out and stuff. But when you come in here and you AFK and walk out of the room, that's fucking rude. I'm not your parent. I shouldn't have to tell you that. That's fucking rude. Why are you guys treating other viewers like that? This is also why I don't like AFKs and macros and stuff. I allow, like... <laughs> auto clicking is one thing but you devalue the time of other individuals when you treat it as such if you set on a macro and you walk away it means people that are actively trying to do stuff are less valuable to you because the game is not important enough to do the actions yourself when you sit there and you walk away yeah like a parent is yelling at someone because you know what i am a dad i am a parent this is how you tell your kids that is not okay behavior don't do that you will get blacklisted i don't care you just disrespected everyone else yeah just leave there's nothing wrong with that dude if you go hey i'm busy so i gotta go like dude i don't care sure whatever but when you sit like i keep catching you afking where you're just like for 30 minutes you're auto clicking when you could have given the spot to someone else like dude you don't have to be in my fucking private server to afk why are you doing that this is a place for people that are actively trying to communicate and be playing with each other don't be fucking toxic dude like that's the part i don't get when you do that and you occupy a slot just to AFK, you're being toxic as fuck. If you gotta leave for five minutes, go ahead. You know, that's fine. Just be like, yo, I'll be right back five minutes. But if you're still gone 20, 30 minutes later, it's like, bro, you're being rude as fuck. And if you're not sure, just be like, yo, I gotta take off for a bit. Right? And I'll fucking put on a five minute timer for you. That's fine, dude. But when you just dip out like that and you just AFK in the server, it's fucking rude. Slots are limited to two because of latency issues. Two people. You're 50% of the viewers that get to join into the stream and then you AFK. That's fucked. Can either of you prove me wrong? Muhammad? Acer? No? Justify why AFK in a server that's meant for viewers? Okay. Change my mind. You have the floor. Until then, I'm just going to move on to a new topic. It's fucking wild, bro. Oh, meteors! Uh, penguins dropping the meteors? Yeah. Like Clover's cool. the best. Let's go. Yeah, I was going to go to Clover, but the mushroom is closer. Just what we needed. Acer left? Well, he can leave. It's, it's fucking rude. What is the point to leave? What are you talking about? What is the point of you joining my fucking private server to AFK in it? No, dude, that's not the problem. The problem is, is I was rotating people out and you were AFK. If you don't have the common fucking courtesy to do that, then you don't need to join the games. If you need to go eat, go fucking eat. You don't need to be in the server. Why not give it to someone that's actively in here? But 
let, let, let's put it this way. Would you appreciate someone sitting in the server being AFK and you really want to play? Would you, would you think that's fair? W would you enjoy that? Just sitting and waiting on this person who's not even actively playing, AFK. not even being being an active part of the stream or the community, who's just sitting I, there, auto-clicking. I, I would say this. He would probably <laughs> go, you know what? It's fine because they won the raffle. Right? Just because it's him on the, the, the opposite end right now. Mm -hmm. But in actuality, 100%, they would be fucking furious. If I just let people AFK in here. It makes me furious that people AFK in this this server. Yeah. Dude, I will straight up blacklist you. I don't care. Let's say it's I left. Own. It's going to be a timer anyway. So let the person join. What I'm saying is if, if you have to handle something, but it might take over five minutes and you're like, hey, I don't know how long this is going to take. Do you mind holding a spot for me for like five minutes? I wouldn't mind doing that because if you come back five minutes later, then you can continue playing for the remainder of the time. But if you sit there and you go, oh, well, fuck everyone else and you just go AFK like, dude, it's fucking rude. Can you prove otherwise? Proof otherwise that AFK clicking on my server isn't rude as fuck, Muhammad. If it's for five minutes, it's not a big deal. I don't care if you go, hey, dude, I got to take off for five minutes. Give me a second. That's fine. People have shit coming up all the time. Or, yo, I need to go get something to eat real quick. Like, I'm I'm going to be watching whatever. That's one thing. But if you just fucking AFK, and I'm like, hey, guys, I need to... Like, here's the crazier part, Mohammed. I was trying to swap people out. I'm like, hey, guys, I need to swap people out. So if you could leave, please do so. And I see you running around. In fact, I remember exactly how it went. So this is the part where I go, okay, yeah, you probably were just AFK clicking. But you, because you talked to Black Bear, it looked like you turned in a quest and grabbed a new one. You walked over to Bee Bear, and then you went straight over back to fucking Strawberry. And then you literally walked over here, stood in place, AFK clicking. After I said Muhammad in stream and in chat. I don't give a fuck about that right now, Muhammad. I'm talking about your issue. Where I asked you in chat, I was like, yo, Muhammad, are you there? And you just fucking ignored. I asked in stream, you ignored. Dude, I was swapping people out. But because you wanted to go AFK... I have to restart the whole server and do all sorts of no if you make it harder for me to entertain other people you're not going to be part of it if i'm trying to entertain some people then and you're hindering me from from partaking with my community why would i have you here right I'm telling you what you did was extremely fucking rude. It wasn't that you were AFK for five minutes. I tried to reach out to you because I was swapping people out. And you just ignored. If you don't want to partake, then don't partake. Yeah, it is fair. Acer, dude, it's the fact that I have to keep doing shit with you that it becomes the issue. Right? If your friend joins in when when I haven't sent an invite out, right? I'm pretty sure it was you, but let's say you let your friend on and they just fucking randomly join. It's fucking rude. If you if you go AFK and you're literally standing here at Spiderfield for over 20 minutes, that's rude. If because here's the thing, there's limited slots, guys. If there was no repercussion from having everyone join, I would have everyone join. I'm not trying to be mean. 
I'm telling, yeah, Acer is blacklisted too for AFKing and then all, all sorts of other shenanigans. Every time that you join in, if it becomes an issue, I'm making a mental note of it because it becomes a hindrance for the stream, for other viewers. It's not fair for other viewers if you guys act like that. If you have to AFK for five minutes, I don't give a shit. Go ahead. You, you need to go handle something. Go handle it real quick. But if you're AFK because you're going to pick up fucking McDonald's or if you're AFK for over 20 minutes because of this or that, like what my, the other viewers time is worth less than your AFK time. Really guys, that's fucked. Like you guys need to be more courteous about the other members in the chat. Dude, why am I... B Listen. I made a joke a long time ago about being a daddy streamer. It was a <laughs> fucking joke. Okay. Oh, if you baby. need... Like, yes, I am a parent and lecturing is what I do. Well, it's learning that's important. Right? If people get called out for repetitive behavior and they start like recognizing trends and then they're having issues because of said trends and they're starting to put that together, it helps people grow. So I'll give the time of day of 10, 20 minutes to address an issue for someone to fucking learn the errors of their ways and then move on. Like I said, new topic. <laughs> like I get it, but it's like, guys, come on. I'm too old for this. You need some coffee. Jay Munster would be better. Have you even had your monster today? I'm like, I'm like a third of the way into the monster. I'm not going to lie. Uh. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. So, uh, Kata, the way that I do it, very good name, by the way, Cataract. Um, no, no, it, it's actually been open. I just haven't been sipping it. Um, so the way it works is eventually you will see this on the screen where there's a keyword. When that keyword's on the screen, it means that I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I call it out. Of course, I usually go, okay, you know, it's about that time. Let's swap people out. Yada, 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 all that kind of shipping. Um, so essentially I do that. Yeah. Uh, just so we can, we can rotate people out and whatnot. And I, I, I do keep a note of who joined. Do I have clouds? Thanks. I have to use my clouds. <laughs> what should I donate to the wind shrine? Um, I mean, are you working on the spirit bear quest? I got the first one, yeah. I uh, just donate whatever the quest tells you to donate and don't really worry okay. about it too much. I don't think it's worth worrying too much. Okay. It's a lot nicer in the late game because the boost is insane, but at the beginning it's it's the resources that you don't need, so it becomes complex. Okay. I need to kill like mid, call mid game from mountain. It, it, mountaintop. Mountaintop, dandelion, then I need to collect goo from white flowers, and then I need a hundred sunflower seeds. The goo one is gonna be the hard one, actually. I think the goo one's gonna be the easy one. The hard one is gonna be those goddamn sunflowers. Because you need a sprout for that. Maybe I have some spare sprouts. Let me check. I think I have a few sprouts. Yeah, I have eight sprouts. How many sunflowers do you need to collect? 300? 100. And also I got 44 uh, sprouts myself. So This woman is hogging all the sprouts? What the fuck? Reported? Blacklisted? You told me to, you told me to save them. Blacklisted? Also, I, I approve of cat o picture. Yeah, I don't like cats so much, but if people like cats, you're more than welcome to like cats. 
I absolutely love cats. Cats yeah. are the best. No. Yes. I will call out lies until the end of days. No, cats are the best. Absolutely love cats. Is there a Wendy or what? Like, I want, I want a Wendy. I want to get done with this Wendy tokens. Um, how much time is left? Uh, the timer actually ran out. I'm gonna give it like. Oh, I guess you can do the giveaway and then. Yeah. After after you guys finish, after you guys finish with the boost, let me know. Actually, I could just set an 18 minute timer. Actually, I'll set a 13 minute timer because then at 13 minutes, I'll start a five minute timer. <gasps> Big brain. So we can rotate people in. Yeah, I'm same boat, Sam. Same boat. Trust. Oh, almighty wind shrine. Take oh. this golden egg and give me a windy. You're, you're not exactly in the same boat, baby, because you absolutely hate cats and you're super allergic. I'm. Yeah. They, they just said well, they couldn't Sam, breathe. Yeah, but Sam likes cats. That's oh. the difference. Yeah, but as far as allergies go. Yeah. Yeah, you're, that's what I said. You're in the same boat there, but you like cats, so you just absolutely hate them. Uh, I just did a golden egg, hoping for Wendy. Praying for the Wendy God. Where the fuck is Wendy? Oh, but cactus and stuff I reject. Oh my god, dude. This Wendy is so toxic. Well, I can use stump, I guess. Use stump for a wait. Is that someone's B? Wait, what? I'm checking mountain top now. Where the fuck is he? <laughs> There's nothing in them. Okay, okay. So you only get honey tokens. That is confirmed. Everyone... Everyone can confirm? You got wind, so why would he spawn? Okay, so these are guaranteed he's not spawned then. How much do I get from you? I'm getting the goo done right now because of the uh, penguin. That's nice. Almost done with the goo already. Why not spider? It depends on the conversion rate, right? I don't think. Yeah, we could go spider. Though I have like 800 blue from the blue boost. Yeah, see? It's not really hitting as hard. We'll see. We'll see after the engine wraps up. One, one.
Mm. Not sure if blue is stronger. Doesn't look like it is. Yeah. I have. Early in the morning. It seems Stump is stronger. Hop, skip, and a jump. I, I tried to make him praise the gummy gummy overlord earlier, but uh, I got told no, you off. Didn't. Yeah. Cause we should praise praise the gummy bee because he's the acolyte of gummy bear. Do you know and what an acolyte bird. means? It's our our overlord. He's, uh, the Do you Lord know what saves. acolyte means? Uh, underling. A follower of. Doesn't mean they're special, it just means they follow him. I didn't say apostle. If he was an apostle of the gummy bear, that'd be different. But wouldn't he be an apostle? No, he's an acolyte. Do you think you'd play different music on stream ever? Yeah, but making a, pl a playlist is kind of a pain. Yeah, it takes a while, especially to get the, the right mood music. Yep, I've tried looking around. It's kind of a pain. I have Epidemic and, and I tried making a playlist, but it's just like... It's pretty every, rough. Every playlist we put on as well just ends out being too short. And then we're in the middle of something and then we need to focus on putting new mm. music on and yeah. I mean, we do have a couple playlists that I could throw on. It's been a while since we listened to it. Like, I like the, uh, the adventure one. Yeah, that one was nice. What do I define mid game as? Where I'm at. I think I'm considered mid game until I get to like gummy boots. Once you grab gummy boots and your hive is like level 14, 15, and then you're starting to hit the late game. Late game is like you just crafted your tide, your gummy baller, or whatever. Bluetooth like early in game? What? Oh, Windy's on the uh, mountaintop. Oh, hold on. He, he just flew off. I'd, oh shit, Vicious was here as well. Uh. 
He flew off, though. I don't know where to. He left? Yeah, he left. He just left. He flew, flew through the building, so I don't actually know where, where to. I'm pretty sure that was someone's bee. No, it, doesn't it, say... it was a bee. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure that was someone's bee because... There's no proc saying someone engaged Windy. Maybe. It was a big B though. Like bigger than the... Mm. Endgame is not hard to define. End game is you have everything. Yeah. Right? If you're just short, plentiful planner, you're end game. Yo. Suzy, welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Has all the new end game tools for example but he doesn't have that much honey but if the only point of farming is to generate honey he's at end game having having the tools and the hive slots and stuff if you're at 50 hive slots all your bees are like over 17 and you have all the tools Mass everything except for plentiful planner, your end game. And I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the whale account. And no, end game isn't everything. It's the process of what you get there. Right? The journey to end game is probably the more enjoyable part. People at end game, they sit there and they cry no content because there's nothing, no goals to set. There's nothing preset for them to to go from. The problem with Endgame is when you're at Endgame, there's nothing left. Right? That's what it means. Endgame. The end. No confusion about it. There should be no confusion what Endgame is. I think the only confusion is defining between mid-game and late-game. There's a huge difference between players. What do you mean? Because I think most people define late game as end game, but that's not the case. Late game means you're pretty much finishing up. Right, you're, you're getting the role of SSA that you want. You're finishing up your gummy baller or your your dark scythe, you get all your stuff. You know, it's... I don't know why people are so confused about that. It's not really hard to, to define. I think it's because people have a hard time accepting that they're still an end game after weeks upon weeks upon months upon months you know what i mean that they go oh i'm actually i'm actually in in late game i'm i'm moving towards end game it's like you don't even have gummy baller yet you're not even close to it <laughs> Yeah, but that's that's literally what late game is part of. Late game is pretty much defining your whole build and redefining and getting everything set up. It's not I, I'll say this, rolling mutations is definitely harder than rolling bees and gifted. Right? Because you can roll as much as you want because of royal jellies, you can keep doing it until you get the exact B you want in the exact slot you want that's not the hard part 
the hard part is getting the mutations that you want because those bitter berries are a limited resource so you have to continuously farm and then you have like like there's so many like time bottlenecks too like you can only roll a certain amount of ssas right because it's time gated you don't only do it what once every 24 hours right and it costs quite a bit to roll them too that's late game that's not end game end game is you're pretty much set dude there's not much else to do right maybe there's a few optimizations you can do oh Sam, my. i think i'm early game sam shut the fuck up you're you're late mid game just like me <laughs> <laughs> My ant game just ate two of my passes without getting I thought late in. game was before the end game. It is. Late game is before the end game. End game is you're done, dude. That's what end game means. It's the end. There's nothing more. There's nothing else. End game is the end. Late game means you're pretty much there dude like you're just cleaning stuff up and getting everything set up dude. like it's it's not that hard to define in the gaming community i i don't know why people have such a hard time comprehending that you can roll star amulets as much as you want and you have a honey there's no cooldown on it okay so as long as you have the honey then you can just keep rolling it you're not in game Santiago, you're not end game, bro. If you're confused what end game is, I don't think you're at end game yet. Yeah, you only got like three mutations. And the fact that you have such little game awareness too is so confusing. You've probably been playing this for a very long time. Mid game is full top gear, honey of fire, bubble mask. Early late game. If you like to call it that, I don't agree, man. I I'm so I'm so over the <laughs> people try and throw definitions just to let let things hit less hard. Yeah, because they're done, dude. And I think there's more than you think, because mittens is at that point. Uh, Elol's at that point. There's. And there's people that are above. There's quite a bit of people above. I, I exclude planner, uh, planner of plenty, just because of how ridiculous the cost is. Like I said, if the only thing left in the game to purchase is planner of plenty, then I don't count it. I agree. Gummy mask, diamond mask, demon mask does not constitute as late game. You can say late mid game if you want, but I don't think that's late game. Late game is like you grabbed your weapons and now you're defining your build. Right? End game is your build set. You got your mutations. You got pretty much everything done. You're at the end of the damn game. You're at the end. Boosts are done. Let's go ahead and knock this out. <sighs> okay. Nightbot. Let's do this. Time for you to do your job. Okay. The keyword shall be.
Santiago, how come every time it is when I talk to you, you you're trying to define some weirdo stuff and it's just not like nothing that you say usually sounds accurate. It's so weird, man. Every single time you join. Oh, honey gifted okay okay guys giveaways up I'm gonna give it five minutes and we'll give it three minutes I lied three minutes liar liar, liar pins on fire let me go ahead and add them to the list. So. There we go. <clears throat> what the hell? <laughs> I was getting everything set up. Don't be rude. <laughs> Wait, don't I have a countdown timer script? I think I have a countdown timer script. After I pull the winners for this giveaway, I'll see if I have a countdown timer script. Tell you what, I'll even do this. Is that visible? Can't see until it comes up on the stream. Well, it's it's your definitions and a lot of things that you point in perspective. For example, I forgot. What, maybe Penguin can remind me because Penguin was there. But like the first time you were here, you were trying to say x was be like better for x or some shit and i remember there was a conversation we had about carpenters it was dude there was just so many things like it seems like you try and pretend like you have more knowledge than you do but it also seems like you just copy and paste like cookie cutter builds you know what i mean it, it seems weird it could be a language barrier thing But it's just really weird. Uh, Cataracts, the giveaway is started. It seems that you were not late. <laughs> Who was that 35B guy over porcelain? Uh, you only need to do it once. There is a list. I don't know how easy that is to see. Apparently, it's not very easy. Maybe it's... Okay, I can stretch it a bit more. Okay, let's 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 pull it down more. Okay. Timer's done. We're gonna do the drawings. Scolosity. Please provide your game tabby's so garbage dude every time i get tabby's love it just makes me rage now <laughs> all right penguin santiago i'm gonna swap you guys out Scalosity, are you there? Oh, Scalosities. Oh, okay. For some reason, your the night bot was very delayed. Boom, 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 boom.
Velocity, please fix your privacy settings. Uh, go to your settings, privacies, and set people that can invite you to everyone. Well, people that can invite you to private server. While you're fixing that, I'm going to roll for the next person. Bacon gaming dude. Baking gaming dude. Need your IGN. Okay, Skullocity, let me go ahead and grab you. Bacon is the one that can't join by uh Ah, so I have to send him the link here. Yeah. yeah. It's he's he's too young. Okay. Let me Does this have a private message? Can I private message? No. Uh Baking Gaming Dude, are you on the Discord? You're I love books. Okay. DM'd it to you. Uh, okay. Vicious is on cactus, if anyone needs. Okay, pull up the browser again. Waiting at the world. Scolosity, did you get it? I did last night. Pretty sure they're on cooldown, but I can check here in a second. If you're coming up for vicious, go through the gate. No, you don't accidentally trigger. Is this Scolosity? You didn't get it? Okay. Okay, well, apparently. Oh, Tango, Tango's baking gaming dude, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, Scolosity, I sent an invite. So... Baking. I, 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 I've said it multiple times. On cactus, go through the gate. <laughs> it's, there's just, there, I might have gotten the wrong Scolosity because there's a bunch of them. No, this should have been you. You're the one with the snowboard goggles, right? You got the snowboarder goggles, right? I'm gonna pull dishes. Yeah, but I, I, I sent you the invite. <laughs> You're on the list, man. Wait, are you trying to add me? Guys, don't don't add me.
maybe I'll send it again. Maybe I have to send it again. Remove and velocity and send. Maybe it'll work if I do it again. Did you get it that time? No confusing. I I don't know what's confusing. Like I, it sends you an invite, right? You should get a notification saying someone's inviting you to a private server. So you need to check your name because what you're sending me is probably not You're in your thing. E yep. There you go. Yeah, see, it's not that complicated. I'm guessing you didn't see the notification. Okay. And so that was. You're on mobile. One thousand three hundred and seventy gummy drops. Oh, fuck. What? Nope. What'd you say? I said one thousand three hundred and seventy gummy drops. What about those gummy drops? I'm getting closer to gummy bee. Oh, you're like a little under 700. Yeah. Why else would I mention it? Besides coming to. <clears throat> okay. Time to farm Mountaintop for the next five years. Mountaintop's not that bad, in my opinion. Well, I need 50 mil, so. Spending that much tickets is so bad. No, 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 no. I'll give you a couple more just to give you some stocks. Gives me a boost too, so it helps both of us. Yeah. I'm terribly sorry that my cough is. I've bad never thing. played Undertale or Delta Rune. Oh, uh, yeah, I should probably 
disable that. Good catch, thank you. Why am I not live? Rude. There we go. <laughs> Means I get lag time on like messages and stuff. Whenever it like desyncs, then it puts me behind the stream. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Santiago. So Have a good one, brother. The boosts are definitely making this a lot less toxic. Already on six six mil. If you really need to, you could use a glitter too. Glitter helps quite a bit. Yeah. But, I don't know, early game it's kind of like every time you spend something it's bites you in the ass. Yeah, and, and, and Skull is, is helping me right now, boosting me. Mm -hmm. Which is really nice. Once, once I have a gifted fuzzy it'll be big game changer. Yeah. The container's almost full, so just gotta go and load real quick, and I'll be back. I guess I can go coconut. Let's go hit up coconut. Coconut's cool. Okay. Okay. Just have to figure out what to spend money on mats on. Yeah, I, like, I feel like that's the, the thing. Like, if you have objectives and goals and stuff, the thing I've considered doing is making a spreadsheet, right? And with the spreadsheet, it would have a countdown of like all the materials and excess, like, correction. It would have all the materials listed, right? And so essentially what you would do is you just enter in the materials that you have and you would figure out your excess, right? And things that are not listed, you can feel freely on spending them. Right? It's just the timing of the materials is a big thing too because you might have extra like say even gumdrops for a quest or whatever right even though you will always need a crap ton of gumdrops you shouldn't be too scared of using them very early on because you'll be able to farm a lot more a lot quicker later on so getting to that point where it's quicker faster is going to help you more in the in the long term It's like essentially this game turns into optimizing your investments. The better you can invest into your resources to get more gain a lot faster the better off you are. Two gifted fuzzies, I call hacks. I want a gifted fuzzy so bad. <laughs> yeah. You know how many pineapples I've been feeding my fuzzy? And he still doesn't want a gift. Honestly, I think I would have been happier with gifting fuzzy more than Tabby. Yeah. I, I, I low-key regret gifting Tabby. Which is funny because everyone swears Tabby's a godsend. Don't agree. Why am I getting so many messages? Sam reported. 
Alright. Sam messaged me asking if I'm gonna stream today. Oh my god, Sam. I don't think you know how math works because a hundred is not guaranteed gifted. <laughs> to be accurate, you need roughly around like two to three hundred gingerbreads to have a very good chance of gifting. No, it's not. <laughs> That's not how math works. Yeah. We literally if had you, this discussion. If you suck well. ass at math, don't do math and tell people what it is. Because you stacking a hundred is not gonna make it a hundred percent. You're literally just gonna have that one percent a hundred times. Mm-hmm. By that same logic, <laughs> you have a nine hundred and ninety-nine or sorry, nine hundred and ninety-eight percent chance. Of missing then on oh, 10 yeah. gingerbreads so therefore on 10 gingerbreads you have roughly a thousand percent chance to never be gifted no it doesn't work that way it's not additive tango stop misinforming people holy shit dude Mondo, Mondo, go away. Yeah, no. Why is this every single time, dude? Why do I gotta do this? Why is this happening to me? Why does this happen to me? Like if, it's if the exact you really, same conversation. Really yeah, you're want right. to understand how it all works, just look towards the end of of last stream like, you don't know how co code rolling works it's not additive i guarantee you it's not additive because people have already stated a billion times that it's not additive because there's people that missed 200 gingerbreads in a row If you don't know, then say you don't know. Don't spew nonsense. I fucking hate when people misinform, dude. That's not how shit works. But yeah, Penguin, I agree that we don't know the code. He could have like a soft, like <laughs> adding, or he could have rewritten the code in a certain way. But it's already confirmed that it's not additive. It's not. There's people that missed 200 gingerbreads in a row on an until gifted. It's not fucking guaranteed. You could, Tango. You actually could. It's the same math. when calculating probability it doesn't say well you see <laughs> in probability this is the formula but if there's an until gifted button well then it's a whole new math equation my brain is small i feel relatable <laughs> math is not my forte either at Bruh. all Math is my forte. That's why it's so fucking annoying when people tell me how math yeah. works. It's not additive. You don't fucking know. You just proved you don't know. Don't say you know. 
Come on, guys. Seriously. Why do you think there's so many rumors and misinformation on BSS? It's because of shit like this. Yeah, see, Penguin, in about, like, probably 10 years from now, you'll look back and you're like, God damn it. I wish I knew this back then. Then I can held my ground in that conversation a lot better, right? But I'm not going to think uh, someone that's, like, you know, they're still in high school or whatever, being able to keep up with an engineer's math. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. I'm not going to blame you guys for not knowing. What I do blame people for is misinforming. Right? That's the only thing that I care about. I'd rather hear you guys say that you don't know than misinformation. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm not going to think you're stupid if you don't know something. There's a lot of shit I don't know. What time will be another giveaway? We, we literally just did a giveaway. Um, Maybe it's my bedtime. Yeah, it's it's her bedtime. In about one hour, I'm gonna call the stream. I still have work tomorrow, so. Yeah, she needs to get going to sleep. Don't look forward to this, kids. The adult life. Enjoy school while it lasts. Yeah. Honestly. The school is actually really chill. Like no, everyone my, is what, in. what I did during school is probably much different than anyone that comes to the stream, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's much easier work, but you don't get paid. Well, 100% accurate. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Where if you replace all your Vs? <laughs> of course. Yeah, but you have to do it with star treats. <laughs> and it only works if you replace every single one of them. Let's do it, Commander. You saw a YouTuber with five subs to it, so it must be true. <laughs> oh my Bro, god. I swear to god, the number of people that fall for that stupid shit is so ridiculous. The thing is, is like those videos are not trying to like fool the smart people. They're trying to trick the dumb. Right? It's kind of like scammers, right? Scammers don't need to trick the smart people. They just need to trick the stupid people. Yep. It's a numbers game. Welcome back. Almost done with this goo. See, <laughs> with all mythics. I mean, it happens, man. Someone has a deep fascination with KFC today. KFC is not even that good, though. KFC used to be really good. It 
But now their chicken quality is just like absolute garbage. And their spices aren't that great now either. They used to be really good. Chick-fil-A is like the new top dog of the chicken street. Yeah. And if you guys never really had Chick-fil-A, it's really good. KFC is it's like not really existing here. I think we have one. The only and... thing you really like is the Canadian. <clears throat> oh, you guys only have one and what? We only have one KFC. Like that's it. That's and, one too and many. Chick -fil -A is not a thing. Yeah. I don't I don't even know how it's not out of business yet, honestly. I don't I ever see anyone in I there. I honestly think it's uh for money laundering. Maybe. Probably. So do you guys wanna you guys wanna know what the downfall of KFC was? I can tell you guys what the downfall of KFC was. There's a couple other restaurants with a similar issue too. Most of the restaurants that you guys see that aren't that popular and their food quality is absolute garbage and everything about them just sucks ass. A lot of the time at one point, they were the top dogs on the street. And if you want proof, it's because they were able to corporize and they were able to franchise. What made them dog shit was foodborne illness lawsuits. If you look up KFC, KFC has so many foodborne illness lawsuits that they they literally just turned into nothing. And so because they don't yeah, I I've seen I just literally opened up in paint. Dude, I can make it look a thousand times better than that. I think I showed that already. Didn't I didn't I do that for one of my thumbnails? Hold on. Let me go look at my videos. I think I did one for the... I did like a fancy thumbnail. Oh, I did. It's the Onet's Quest uh, thingy. Yeah, is Onet's Quest endgame. And the thumbnail has a edited honey count. Did you know KFC is for real Kentucky Fried Chicken? And then so chicken, just something that looks like chicken. Well, everyone knows KFC is Kentucky Fried Chicken. I guess you're going red now. Well, the SSA ain't got a star song scorching. <laughs> I mean, red's not bad, dude. Red is pretty fun. Yours is a hundred times better, be quiet. I'm surprisingly good for with Photoshop for how much I don't use it. <laughs> Alright, you have a good one, Scholosity. So we can, I guess we can grab one more. See, Scholosity is a gentleman. The funnier part would be like he just sat in stream just to use that as a point. <laughs> he just like mega behind it. Which is like, you know what guys, just to prove a point, when I finally get in, I'm going to say I go get food and I'm just going to go back to lurking. <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> Omega Mega Mind. He literally did it in Snip and Sketch for 10 seconds. I mean, it only takes me roughly 10 seconds to do do that as well for the uh, the thumbnail. The only thing that's actually really hard was actually finding a close font. For some reason, the Bee Swarm Simulator font is so fucking unique for some reason. I don't know why. 
Couldn't it have just been Arial with an outline? No, it has to be like some unique random font. It might be like a Roblox font or some shit. Because I could not find a font for the life of me to, that matches really well to make it like look very convincing. Baby, I need adult supervision or adult help because I can't remember what I was doing. You were doing mountaintop farming for oh, Spirit yeah, Bear. So uh, Will you live Five Nights at Freddy's old. or stream Five Nights at Freddy's? I don't really care for Five Nights at Freddy's. Not that scary. Because of my age, the interests are way different. Yeah. Yeah, we can do a roll for one person. Let's do a 30 second roll. We're going to do a 30 second roll. Oh, uh, windy on non top. This time it's legit. Okay, let me grab this windy. He, he's in the cloud. Be careful. Okay, it's you. I'm waiting on my thing. Pulling up Nightbot. Yeah, you can do the rolls while we if, kill Wendy. If Cataracts is here, please let me know, Cataracts. If not, I'm just going to pull in Sam because he's the only person that was there. Wendy, get out of the goddamn cloud. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, it's him. Sam's turn. Oh, where did he go? He's here on pineapple. It was good I needed adult help, because otherwise I wouldn't have found Wendy. God, this is gonna get me so close to being done. Do you like the title? Dude, Tevi sucks. Not even memeing. I really don't like Tevi. Uh the reason for the table uh the table? The, the title. You gotta go. Okay, well, we're full then. <laughs> I just want I, I want this windy I need these goddamn tokens he needs to give me more goddamn tokens oh my god I'm getting so few I need like 70 yeah tabby sucks so what I was saying was um the reason for the title is because I gifted tabby because everyone swears up and down that tabby's the the hottest thing uh, Tabby sucks, dude. The only thing good about it is the 50% crit power. The fact that... Okay. Tabby's love still spawns after you hit a thousand stacks. Meaning it literally eats ability, ability token procs. Which means it's Garbo, in my opinion. Oh, uh, if this vicious as well. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll spike both of them. And then I'll leave the vicious to you. There we go. Get him, guys. Get him. Beat up this Wendy. Okay. I am 45 tokens away. Dude, I'm I'm gonna need one fucking windy watch. Just 
Come on, Wendy. I don't want star jelly. I want more tokens. Imagine oh if goodness. Tabby, uh, it, it would be crazy. Honestly, in my opinion, once you have a thousand stacks, it should just be claw, right? Because my, from my reference, I thought that once you finish Tabby's love, oh my God, I died. That's bad. Thing. That's really bad. I'll spawn them all back immediately. Okay, guys, go get them. Because I thought once you hit max stacks, it would just proc the claw over and over again, right? That's the only ability it would proc. But because it does everything, or it does Tabby's love again, it's like, dude, that's a pointless thing to have. Like, every time you see it, it's like, well, that could have been a claw. Or that could have been a claw. It's like, bro, that sucks. I will kill you. I don't care if there's only 20 seconds left. I need these goddamn tokens. Yeah. Give me these goddamn tokens. Um, you just did a puff bye. run from level one to, to legendary. Nice. It's really close. Oh, yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. Baby. No, missed. Yeah. Really close. God damn it. I need 30, uh, 32 more tokens. Damn. That's so close, but... Okay, I need to feed you a bunch of jelly beans. Where are you? I'm gonna give you candy. Oh, I'm going to mountain top. Okay, I'm gonna go give you candy. Num yum. Yeah, I think that, I think you're right on that. Nom 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 nom. Um. Okay, we're gonna finish this part of the quest and just feed her a crap ton of candy. <laughs> Are you trying to make me fat? Well, it's better that I waited until you're on top of the mountain instead of the bottom, because then the climb would be rougher. <laughs> yeah, this way I can just roll down. <laughs> Welcome to the techno raid. <laughs> and the not late thing is still up. My bad. I bet you I can set a key. I, I could probably make a script that will uh, remove the key term after a certain amount of time. Or the, the set a timer to the actual phrase and stuff. yet because a lot of people were complaining about legendary puffs and whatnot though <laughs> like people that are farming all the way to like level 24 and no legendary i guess we'll do jelly bean uh, first one to say Yeats <laughs> Genson. All right, Yeet. Put down your name. Send you an invite. We are ending the stream in roughly 37 minutes, but I can get you in. I fucking hate getting Tabby's love, man.
Did not add you. Hold on. There you go. Check your notifications. I can actually get my goo done up here too anyways. Meanwhile, I'll feed you a bunch of beans. Jelly beans. Yum yum. Yum yum, I love jelly beans. Here, I'll even give you some sprinklers. I actually don't really like them that much in, in real life. They're, they're, they're too sugary for me actually. Which is a shame because my mom bought me this big crate of jelly beans because she thought I liked them. Oh, I need to go to Posse real quick really. Oh. All right, you have a good night, Penguin. Night. She does, however, really like licorice. I love licorice. Oh, just reminded me. I have licorice at work and I haven't even touched it yet. Yeah, I don't think jelly beans are that bad, but I gotta be in the mood for them. Like I said yeah, before, exactly. I'm not I'm not really into sweets. Which is why sweets I'm keeping okay. my jelly beans to share with you. But there's just nothing worse than someone trying to be really, really nice to you and thinking about you and then they give you this this item and you're just kind of like I, I, I don't really like it <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it's a really bad thing in Japan too because when someone gives you yeah. a gift you kind of have to accept it yeah no, 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 and you, no, no. you have to be like appreciative and very cheerful about it and you can't really say anything about it yeah like you have to be like oh you know I love these even though you absolutely fucking hate them yeah. Like it's it's making me feel super guilty that I haven't even touched those jelly beans and it's been like a year or something since she bought them for me. Because she was like, Oh, you you like these, right? No, I don't really. But thank you. And I just feel so unappreciated unappreciated. Yeah, that was the word I was looking for. Like, that's why it's also really bad to give someone an animal, too. In Japan, you yeah. don't really give animals because they can't decline it, and then it becomes a burden. Just in general, don't give animals. What the fuck? Yeah. But, yeah. I think the only exception is, like, if your partner really, really wanted a dog, and then you brought yeah. home a puppy, then it's like... So there's this YouTube video where... Uh this dude's girlfriend came home with a puppy mm -hmm. and like the guy opened the door and the puppy like ran up started licking at his leg and stuff and the guy like f started bawling Aww. it was so <laughs> wholesome i'm like bro oh container full again here but Yeah, but th th that's kind of like you, you've already discussed it. It's already kind of a mutual yeah. decision. It's just uh, I, you haven't I think, picked the dog. I think what it was is like he he's probably always said he wanted a dog, mm -hmm. you know, and then she probably didn't say anything about it because like his reaction was like he had no fucking idea. No. Like no idea. And then she comes home with this puppy and the guy's just like, crying his eyes out yeah think you'll buy a night bell why buy a night bell be patient it's only sam that's the mad lad and buys like a hundred night bells <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> it did help me a lot sam though. is a wild man for sure yeah <laughs> Wendy at Dandelion? Are you serious? 
bro. Let's go. This is mine. I don't care. I want it. 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 Thank you, Yeet. Thank you for calling that out. I need it. 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 Are you actually going to get windy on screen? Mm, I still got to roll clouds and stuff, but oh. I can gift the spirit pedal. I think this is for sure the last windy I need to do for this quest. Oh, this is so needed. Windy is only giving me honey. I'm, I'm slightly upset. Because you're not, you're not hitting enough damage. That's the problem with Windy when there's too many people, is like you don't get any credit. Yeah. I have 11 out of 10 cloud veils. Or vials. English is hard. Yes! Where'd he go? Fighting. See, the trick is, guys, you use bait like that, so everyone goes to grab the beans. I, I think I was the only one trying to grab the beans. <laughs> because I was like, nom noms! Uh, dandy? And then blind, I can move. I only need like a million goo. Should be stupid easy to get, to be honest. Oh, I don't mind if it goes there now, because I can actually go there. Hey. <laughs> oh, nice. That was a big loot table. Nom nom. I wonder if he's gonna make use of the bottom platform by extending the the zone that way. Probably. You know what I mean? If you take if you have like forty bees, you get to take a portal or something or yada yada. He's yeah. going coconut, which yes. you can go to, but you'll find out quickly that I'll miss everything on on coconut crap. I know. I'm hoping my beast goes for Windy instead. Bro, what if I get Windy today? Oh, so good. The only crappy part is I have to donate the spear pedal and then I have to donate the wind vitals or vials. That was a bit, uh, coconuts, whirlwinds. Oh. Okay, I'm not getting much from Wendy anymore, and he's down to 56 seconds. So I'm gonna go get my goo. Almost down again. Gummy bee. Thank you. Your pain will end soon. Why? What were you farming? 
do that thing. Okay. You're gonna buy porcelain porter hive instead of a hive. hive oh, you're gonna buy a hive slot instead? Oh, I don't know about that, buddy. Gummy bass will be yours. Nice. Fifty more glue. That's really close. Back to farming in Mountain Tap. Still need twenty mil. Did that spawn a Windy? Oh. That's like the worst time ever. If there's a Windy, yeah. I'm... Yeah, there's a Windy on Pineapple. Yeah, that's why I was saying it was like the worst time to spawn uh, Meteors. Want to prioritize Windy or just do? Yeah, I'm going for Windy. Okay. For a moment, I thought it said collect 100 sprouts and, or uh, 800 sprouts, and I was like, bro. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get shit. He's too high level? Yep. No, it's it deals too much damage. Oh. Where did the windy go? He's on mountaintop. Oh. Okay. I'm not dropping links anymore. We only do two slots, and then I do a giveaway for those two slots. Damn it, every time I come too late. Uh, he's going coconut. You're close to getting a uh, coconut canister. Nice. What is a drop table like for Windy? Nice. Got a link just in the right time. Uh, down the line, I think. Mm. Yeah, down the line. So for this quest, it wants me to donate 10 oils one golden egg it's pretty tame i guess spirit bear kind of gives you a breather after you complete one of the quests or the or you obtain a spirit pedal yeah i'm not getting shit from windy okay Wendy's now active, so next donation will be 11 of these cloud vials. Which will be massive. Looks like I gotta hit up Spider Cactus Field for all whitey. Oh, I should probably check on my planters. Need 90 tropic drinks. Nice. 
I think it's like you need 150 coconuts and 150 tropical drinks, right? I'm at 22. You figure 100 mil would not be that bad on cactus, but because there's only a few white flowers. <laughs> Gumdrops am I at now? Pain cocoa can and gummy. I mean, I feel like that's the when the game starts curving into like its real true form. Because after coconut canister and you've gotten your gummy mask, like gummy boots starts feeling really crazy, and then gummy ballers even worse. Right? like really bad because farming materials becomes a lot more difficult over time because you end up needing a crap ton of materials even though you have increased luck and whatnot I think diamond mask is only hard because of the eggs right if you have five diamond eggs it's not that big of an issue like for me right now, I'm roughly a hundred glue off from gummy mask. How many can I make right now? I only have 150 gumdrops. No, I need royal jellies. I don't think glitter is that bad. You guys think glitter and oil's really bad? Maybe it is. It's probably because I haven't gotten anything that really desperately requires those yet. So that's another 12 on my stockpile. So that puts me at 151. So I'm like exactly 99 short. It's one of the hardest things to get. I think it's only a pain because of the sprouts, right? Because you can... Farming moon doesn't really feel that bad. I could be wrong because a lot of people end up skipping moons, right? They skip moons a lot. He did the... Some of our 12 times 25 gives you a uh, turpentine And you need moon charms and moon charms need sprouts and glitter. I mean you kind of get a free like during nighttime if a moon sprout spawns It's almost equivalent to one glitter but you get a lot of glitter from drops. Hey, okay. But like for me, like as long as you're not using glitter, glitter doesn't seem that big of an issue because a lot of things don't require you to use that much of it. Maybe I'm wrong. I can go check real quick. Yeah, if we find Vic, we, we always announce it. I'm so dumb. 
farm everything. You need more bees and more honey. That was Cloverfield. Um, don't don't pull yeah, it. You um, okay? So the rules that we have generally is me or I stare a bullet, unless we give an okay. Just so everyone gets a chance to go grab it. Yeah. Like Tango, oh, that can get you gonna... banned. Yeah. I was just say just about to go into my bags and then come over. A hundred glitter? How bad is a hundred glitter? How much glitter do I have? I think I have like 30. Yeah, 33. I don't think a hundred glitter is that bad as long as you're saving up for it. Yeah, a lot of people didn't get a hit once because everyone walked out. Where I kind of didn't want to walk into it, then don't walk into it. A hundred isn't that bad. Uh, Yeet is the one with Tide Pop. Per. Yeah, target practice, then leave it. Yeah, that's why you need, usually the lowest person pulls it and then everyone crumbles on them. Yeah. 250. You need 100 glitter. I just looked at it. I literally just looked at it. a half sale we're talking about diamond mask holy shit uh rare puff on mountain top level five The stream's actually ending in about 20 minutes. It's half price for Beesmas. Hmm. Uh, chill with the caps a little bit. Who's capsing? Uh, tango. Goes tango. Yeah. It's like we we, we get it, dude. We weren't Good doing it. Like we were waiting on everyone. No need to shout at us. gonna be able to do my first dono on stream what levels my snow bear like nine it's an in-game tool the three in-game tools is um dark side type popper and gummy bowler Gummy baller being the most ridiculous.
Three more mil to go. And then it's just 10 mil on down the line. I haven't done one of these in a bit. Oh, another five hours. Well, so 45 minutes. That's at what? 4.30? Cool. Why? Do you know if you power grind through your snow bears, what ends up happening is you're out leveled and you can't grind it for snow? It gives you a lot of snowflakes. And if you grind it too hard and have people power level it through, then you don't get to grind it anymore. And then you're dependent on people coming by and killing it for you. I should not have someone else kill it for me. If it's the like last two days, sure, but so you're trying to make the same recommendation that locked you out of snow bear for someone else. Do you see how bad that is? Hey guys, I ended up locking myself from ever doing snow bear again, unless I have an A team. That's not... During the event, you don't want to power grind it immediately because you end up locking yourself out from grinding snowflakes. What you should be doing is killing it on rotation, right? Just like a regular mob, so you can grind up additional snowflakes. And then the last three minutes, or not three minutes, the last three days, then you can sacrifice those three days because who cares? But you literally gave up a whole week of grinding snow bear on a 30 minute cooldown for literally like what normally gives you between 30 to 50 snowflakes. Why would you make that recommendation for someone else if you already locked yourself out? You s Do you see the TVMA? Oh, is it one hour and 30 minutes? My bad. But still, it's it's a lot of snowflakes to miss out on. Because here's the thing, you see people asking others to kill their snow bear for them, and they're like, man, getting snowflakes is so hard. Well, yeah, because you can't fucking grind it because everyone else power leveled you through it. Because you can't even damage it. Do you see how silly that is? Like, if you're going to try an at least backseat game, at least say something good. Oh, you micro. Did you know this channel's anti-micro? Micro? If you come on here and talk about macroing, then, uh, oh, that's a bubble. If you come in here and uh, talk about macroing, you will get muted. Did you know that? And you can also get banned for using macros. Mm -hmm. So it is yep. bannable. Macroing is a bannable offense.
But when you tried it, you realized that you didn't have to put in as much effort, so you devalue those that don't macro. I don't care if you were anti-macro. You're not anti-macro. AFK clicker? Sure, that's fine. Macro? No. That's a hard line I draw. Uh, yeah, it is. You want proof, K? I can prove you wrong in like three seconds because I have the exact quote of what Onet said. He says, you won't get caught macroing as long as it's not doing code injection. Do you really want to go on about this? Do you really want to go on? Because I have the exact quotes. He said on his Discord that macroing that doesn't do... No, it's not basically. No, it's not. It is a macro, but it's not. Not in the tier that we're talking about right now. He said, as long as it doesn't code inject, it won't be detectable and you won't get banned. Why do you think he has to specifically state that? Because it is a bannable offense. And if you get caught macroing, you will be banned. If you want to prove otherwise, dude, I have no problem proving it otherwise. Because there have been people that came in here and go, Hey, I had a macro and I was using the same macro everyone else did and I got banned. Why is that? It's because ma macroing is a bannable offense. Onet doesn't get to make the rules. Roblox does. I'm not arguing this over and over again. It's fucking ridiculous. If you think it's okay, it's not okay. I'm sorry. This channel is anti-macro. You come in here and you talk about macros, you will get banned. Or you won't get banned from Roblox, but you'll get muted. I'm not going to hear it. It's a bannable it's offense. Literally in Roblox's rules. like It's in the TOS. It's considered a cheat. Any third-party applications that give you an advantage over other players that are not presented on Roblox is considered a cheat. How are you supposed to know that? Well, first of all, you should read the rules of the games you play and second of all every game is anti-g yeah it's common sense there's a reason why he states that as long as you don't do code injection you won't get caught he wants you playing the game as much as possible because then it makes his game rating go up really it's a good game we all know this but the macroing that is like abundant in the community is fucking toxic dude it's so highly promoted it's a joke there have been people that have been banned for macroing using the same exact macros that are on the macro discord just so you are aware yeah you probably Dude, Elo macros, he's top of the fucking leaderboard. Doesn't mean he's immune. The thing is this, what you guys don't understand, at the end of the day, you, generally speaking, if you're using the macros that are presented, which are the non uh, code injected ones, which essentially code injected macros are just bots, As long as you're using the ones that are presented, as long as you're not getting reported in game for toxic behavior, yada, 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 and you're not caught, right? Like if you get caught being toxic, swearing or violating any of the terms of service, or if you just get investigated in general, even if you're sitting in your own private server, they may join your private server in case you don't know. Roblox hosts your private server. They can monitor your private server whenever the hell they want. Right? They can literally jump in and they go, huh, this user's been doing the same thing the exact same way for the last like 10 days. I'm pretty sure they're macroing. No. Uh, so there's several different forms of macros, right? The one you're talking about is a basic code macro which is just a script right it's just a script that record that key logs your in, uh your inputs and then it goes okay replicate this code injected is something that i can inject into the application to tell the application to run a certain way 
So literally, I can go, okay, Roblox, this is the inputs that are being sent to you. Even though I'm not pressing any keyboard or mouse, if you want to notice the difference, like really notice the difference, think of it this way. With the code injection, I can go on YouTube and play other games. Meanwhile, the game is playing the way that I told it to, right? But with the macro that you're using, you have to have Roblox as the main main application that's running, right? Doesn't get to sit in the background because it's detecting user inputs, right? It's simulating user inputs. Code injection just sends the script directly to the application. Yeah, a lot of people don't know a lot of things and that's fine. But when you come in here and you're like, well, you see, I'm blue and I'm doing macros and stuff. Do you, what, you think that put you on a higher plane of existence that just like blacklisted you in my eyes? Yep. Like, seriously. Like, macros are not promoted here. This is very anti-macro stream. I think it devalues the efforts that individuals put into the game. It takes away the work too. Honestly, what are you proud of getting gummy baller if you AFK for fucking three months and not play the fucking game? Did you work hard for that? Is, it gonna Is the thought of using glitter it? not an anxiety for you? You just devalued the fucking game for yourself by using macros. The game is meant to be hard. I don't know why people want to take the lazy fucking route. Don't you want the sense of accomplishment? I literally seen three hives, three endgame blue hives that got banned. Like, why do people think that macroing is not going to get them banned? All you have to do is go to a public realm and find, like, I don't do this, okay? Just so people are aware. If you're caught macroing, I'll talk some shit, but I'm not going to report you. Right? I I mean, you're, Onet's promoting it himself, right? It is against TOS, but I'm not going to sit there and report you. I'll let someone else do it, right? Because I don't know, you might be a really fucking nice guy. I don't know you, you're just, you're macroing. I think it's kind of lame, but you might be the coolest dude in the fucking city. You know, I don't know. But at the end of the day, like, if someone's macroing, I call out that behavior. I'm like, why are you devaluing everyone else's effort? Everyone else's work. Like, wouldn't you want to work for it and earn it? Like, I do AFK clicking too. But the difference between AFK clicking and macroing, macroing doesn't use all your B's abilities. It doesn't play the game fucking for you. The AFK clicker literally just keeps you logged into the game. So you keep your five, five count clock buff and maybe you get some decent drops if you get lucky and it get, collects it. You never know. RNG takes the wheel. Macroing takes that all out. I, I, macroing is disgusting, man. With how, how populated it is and then how endorsed it is by a lot of the members of the BSS community. That's the only thing I don't like between like kids trying to justify actions and just being ignorant. Yeah, macros poop. Oh, you want to bet? How much do you want to bet? How much do you want to bet? How old do you think my account is? How old do you think this account is?
Did you know that members on the Discord swear I macro? I don't. Viewers join in on my um my private server when I'm AFK and everything. I don't macro. This account is two weeks old, going on to three weeks. Only takes two to three weeks to hit the bills. I'm about a hundred glue off from uh, gummy mask. Really? You don't need fucking macros. Just be good at the game. I'm not the best player. I'm not going to claim that I'm I'm the best, but you don't need macros to be good at this game. It's crazy, dude. It's fucking crazy. That's why like my my goal in this game literally my whole goal of this game no macro hit top Ten on the all day. If I hit top ten on this daily top honey makers without macros, it sends a message saying, "Dude, if you have to use macros to get here, you're not that good." You know what macros do? They compensate for lack of skill. Because you waste your materials, you don't know how to prioritize. Honestly, it depends. Are you going to quit if you stop macroing? Because a lot of people would. Once they start macroing, they're not able to keep up anymore. It makes you lazy. If you feel like you can get things done without macroing and progress forward, then why are you bother macroing? And you're no, I, I agree. I agree. Work. Macro. No, actually, I disagree. I think macro, macroing and exploits are on the same tier. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know why Roblox kicks you off after like 20 minutes. There are some games that enable it by doing random actions and stuff like that. Honestly, I think. Maybe it's set by Onet just to make sure that, you know, public lobbies aren't full of just people that are AFK and just standing around. But to me, right, it's not as big of a deal to AFK click versus to just straight up macro because macros exploits lets you teleport and macro just walk for you. Yeah, I know that but they both accomplish the same thing. In the late game, you'll realize that teleporting is not as big of a deal as you would think, right? Because all, <clears throat> there's two sides of it. Yeah, no, I know. Trust me, I he, I I know. Numbers are my thing. I don't backseat game. I already know. Okay, I just talked about how much I hate macros and that I how fast I grew. Like I know candy goes on coconut, uh, coconut. Uh, strawberry and pineapple. I know that blue goes in pine, bamboo, blue flower, anywhere that has blue. Yeah, nectar stacking. Yeah, it costs tickets. I'm just wasted because I didn't pay attention. Could have got another oil. Who cares? It's 25. But it's not as hard as you guys like try and make it seem like. It's not that crazy. To get on the top board without macroing is not that crazy. Because here's the thing. Everyone plateaus. Eventually, everyone plateaus. 
Um, that was gum blueberry converter something. I think that was jelly bean. Yep. Easy money. No, I'm white. But macros allow you to enable your bees abilities by moving across all over the field and grabbing all the tokens. I already placed it good. Oh, what makes you think that? Sean, do you know what the the uh, leaderboards look like right now? Their hives? They're all level 20. They're not growing anytime soon. They're already using the best cure that they got. The bees are already maxed out. They're at their peak. That's literally already at their peak. And if you're thinking I'm not going to hit end game before new content, then yeah, we're actually ending this stream soon. I just got conversation trapped, but yeah, it's not, dude, you can easily hit end game without macroing. Macroing is just a com compensation of skill. The, the next, there's a bees miss part two, which apparently happens at the end of the timer which is what the rumor is going around right now. But then after that, it's like we're on a whole nother beast mission, right? So like major content only comes out once a year. Yeah, we're, we're ending this stream right now. It's just, I got conversation trapped by macro conversation again, you know, the same old, same old, I macro yada, yada. I'm like, uh, all right, to end the stream, we'll roll off uh, 2K jellies. Uh, Blue's already gonna get nerfed. The nerf list is already out. Bubble bee. Don't hate on the bubble bee. Bro, I just went through a thousand jellies and not hit a single one. What? What is this rig? Ah, uh, it's on the news. It's it was posted in January. He's still releasing the the nerfs. Uh, white and red are gonna be moving up in tears. But I think red right now is in a very strong spot. A lot of people are switching over. Anyways. Yeah, if you want a list of the nerf list, it's on the BSS community discord under news. Also, before misquoting, validate quotes by searching Onet. His discord is Onet. Uh, hashtag 00. Wait, 0001 similar to like how mine is and then you can literally search all his posts and if you want to look up something specific that he's w talked about for example macro just type in macro right onet 0001 macro and then you'll see every single post he's ever talked on the official discord talking about macros so anyways we're going to take off. I'm going to spend time with my wife before she goes to sleep. And uh, I hope you guys have a good one. We'll stream again tomorrow. Same time. Maybe a little earlier. We'll see. But yep. You guys have a good one and have a good night. Later. Bye-bye.